design, a special one from the CEO stand coming with the spoon. And your boy, right at the south and back, charges on the beat. back into the classroom. Look at the behavior, look at the gasoline, the roads that are being built, people can't get from, from one village to another. Those are the things you promised in your first 100 days. War crime code should not be in your 100 days. Take it from your 100 days and put it into your fourth year. When you are leaving power and you bring war crime code, nobody will care. But when you have this government in the first two months you bring war crime code, all your program will be on the mind. Now all of you having confusion. Oh, we want to we want to tie them up. We we'll get on to Ghana. Did you talk to Ghana? This was a country that spent thousands and millions of dollars. They send their children here during the war and they die here. Did you talk to Nigeria? Nigeria sent their children here and they die here in this country, and they continue to insist that the war in Liberia will end. Did you talk to Guinea? Did you talk to Cote d'Ivoire? You never talk to all of these people. 
They are against you doing what you're doing because Liberia is still fragile. We are peaceful, but we are not stable. This is not a stabilized country. Things are going on daily and nightly. This president needs to listen and to, to watch and to analyze. Well, Cranko, moving from your agenda now. Moving from your agenda. The Constitution does not allow a white man to be citizen in this country. No white man is supposed to be citizen in this country. And you know who passed the first law? It was our brothers who came from America as slaves. And they said to us, the settlers, the originals that they met here, they said, the white people are bad people. The way they treated us. So we came back now, we are free. But no white man should be a citizen in this country. Question. And question. the other tribe, the Gola people, the Vaya people, the Mandate, they say, true. No white man will be citizen. And so white man is not a citizen in this country. We were my supporter to the secretary mentioned to ask the legal advisor to the president why he dropped the case against me. I've done nothing. I, I don't know who this guy is. And he defeated my character for the work that I have done for this country for the life. I've signed every government that I've come and I've left a print. But the legal advisor, Bushi Ben Keita, told the president of the Republic of Liberia, he instructed the Senate court prosecutor to drop the case without my knowledge. I did not drop this case. I want us to go through the legal proceeding. Whatever judgment that comes with it, I will settle for it. I am coming to the mansion with my supporter. And I'm going there to stay there until I hear from Bushi Ben Keita why they drop the case. In the meantime, my case is still standing in the in the in, in, in the in the civil court. Criminal cohesion, that's what I said. Manessing, that's what I said. Despite the conduct, and that was my foul in the court. And I can prove oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Lumi, how are you? Are you on drugs? No, sir. Are you taking a drug test? No, sir, but I'm not going to take one. Are you taking one? Right now, I'll take one. Are you sure you're not on drugs? Right now, I'll take a drug test. I'm not on drugs. Have you taken drugs before? No. The president said drugs will be public enemy number one. The president who has nominated you has taken his drug test to the vice president. Why have you deliberately refused to take your drug test? Honorable Senator, I've not refused. To take my drug test, as I said, and I say again, even right now, if it's available, I'm ready to take Why now? Why are you disrespecting the president? Uh, I'm only a, a nominee. Have you done your asset declaration? I'm only a nominee. Uh, I've not done that, sir. So the president declared his asset. You refuse to do yours. The I'm president took drug tests. You refuse to take drug tests. I haven't refused to take drugs, drug tests. I haven't refused to declare my asset. The law requires, as an official of government, uh, for me to declare my asset. And when I become an official of government, if confirmed by you, sir, I will declare my asset. Do you deserve my vote? Yes, sir. Give me two reasons why I should vote for you. The first reason is I'm qualified. The second reason, I'm a son of Bomi, and you are my representative. Uh, Senator. So, okay, I'm looking at your education qualification. I see you have uh, academic qualification. I see you have two A degree. Then I see you in the right of the of off, on, off. What do you mean of on, off? Honorable Senator, I don't only have two A degree. It should have been four, actually, but I have three. That's what I'm reading. I brought them with me. It's uh, on my credentials there, you see three. One is in general education. One is in social work. One is in political science. I also brought my bachelor's degree, my honor society certificate, and those documents are accompanied by transcript sealed by the various institutions. So if you, if you request them, sir, I'll present them. You want to show me where they have for the last time on your, that the government gave us? Uh, yeah. The bachelor's is right here. No, no, no. What you give us, I see general education, I see social work. Okay, you know, brother, on off. 
I'm going to be there on call. No. When I attended the university, it came up to during the war. You and I went to school together, honorable senator. So when we were at the university, the war struck us. So on and off, and then we fled. No, I didn't tell that brother was no war. No, I am so saying you, when I when I see them this together, they were in the brother. Yeah. So are you confused? No, definitely not. Do you have any? And everything we've said here today is not strange but since the fourth session of this Senate. We have spoken about roads. We have had all of the issues about electricity. There's not one thing we've said here that we have not brought on this floor. The only reason why we continue to say is because we are not taking the action we should take. We have the power to change a lot of what we have explained here today, but are we sincerely ready to take those actions for the changes? I think that's the kind of decision we should be making. Let's ask ourselves, now that we've come back, are we ready? Are we ready to take some actions? To sincerely take actions? If we are ready, then we're not come here and complain because it's disappointing for us to come here and be whining when we have the power to change most of these things. So again, folks, I'd like to say welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, welcome to the show. Welcome to the late night show. The late night politics on Spawn, this is where we talk about Liberia, we talk about the happiness, uh, we talk about the different activities in the country, we bring you uh, objective analysis on those um, activities here, on those happenings. Uh, we come here with diverse views, uh, we all look at uh, or make analysis on those issues from different perspectives and, and regardless of the political views you share, we all have a place on this platform so i'd like to say welcome tonight thanks for joining us on the late night show my name is nelson Collet. um yes and i want to say thanks to all of you for joining us i see the comment session is very engaging uh, lots of uh, conversations going on there thanks to all of you for joining us there we're going to recognize a few of you in the comment session but let me go across and bring in the team uh, the rest of the guys are going to join us. It's going to be a spirited conversation here tonight. So let's hope we can have a great show. Um, I bring in Francis Jabate. Mr. Jabate, welcome to the show. Thank you, you bro. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. How's it going over there? It's good, man. And, um, Why do you call moderator? Where he at? The call moderator <laughs> couldn't make it. He got love, but he couldn't make it. I mean, private pass also went drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mobile is doing good. Mobile is doing good. Um, the guy, the guy is trying to familiarize himself with the the different the different parts of the country. Having been away for a while, but it's good. He might join us tonight. If not, then tomorrow he said he will be in studio live. Okay. Yes. Um, we I'm hope we can. Uh, come again. The other man in job, the man, the, the man left here and went to library. Didn't go to sit down to be looking at things. Yeah, right. You see the man trying to what did family right? He said, "I've got yeah. two times in a year. Every year I've got to library two times." Mama said the last time he he came to library was about three years ago. Interestingly, I asked I asked the guy to visit me uh, to because I was in fact not to visit, but I was at the capital so. And then he called me. I said, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm at the Senate." So he said, "Okay, I'm coming." Moba drove uh, straight into the uh, to, uh, to the grounds of the Temple of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> and then he called me. He said, "How come I'm at the Capitol, but I see Temple of Justice here?" I said, "No, <laughs> yeah, at the Capitol, yeah." <laughs> you gotta drive past that place, get out of that place, and you keep coming up. You know, because he was coming, from, but but that's the beauty of uh, the beauty of it. One way or the other, things are changing, the environments are changing, and this yeah. is just where we are. You know, yeah. But again, it's a it's a it's a good way to start the show, man. Um, 
Magnus, hope you're doing good. Um, it's been a while since we last. Yeah, bro. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yeah. Uh, and um, I see Maggie is trying to come on. What's what's happening <laughs> with Maggie? <laughs> She's doing uh, a she not working. What kind of device you use? Maggie started link not working. No, Maggie, I think her Maggie, gadget is not working. Maggie, yeah, love, but she's not making. <laughs> because I seen link everybody using the camera. Friends are sorry, friends I saw your stuff though. I was not able to follow you because I was driving. I know you were on today. Every two weeks, that's when I do the show, the giveaway show. But every week, I try to just do something. But anyway, I don't want to plug my show on us. I want to say, you are smoking, man. Huh? I have to say, and take, take, take your, take your bill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not to, I'm not trying to receive a, a, a Nelson yeah. bill in a mailbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the U.S. No post office for Liberia Sport TV. <laughs> Yeah, man, but it's a great thing. Francis has a very unique show that comes up. It's, yeah, it's, cool. it's centered around education. I remember some years back, I used to run a show on the radio like that called Educational Quest. Um, yes, so it's a good one because, I mean, it it sets the pace for the young people to get motivated to yeah, study more. Yeah, because yeah. If, you, if you know that you're about, you, you're supposed to win or you want to win, um maybe some cash you will go and study you know the unique the need is unique it's called reset what is that what reset on you need a child reset star ah yeah, yeah reset you want to get some reset 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 on, go. <laughs> on facebook follow francis jabate and uh follow the show you get some reset and eventually you read that word or more <laughs> yeah follow once you follow thank you man Certainly. Um, it's a it's a good thing to be here again. Um, let's recognize a few of the folks who have joined us tonight. Uh yeah. Uh, Mr. Philip Barse, Francis, take advantage of the biggest platform and advertise your show. You have the mail. Francis, Philip, Philip, you're right. Philip, you're right. Hey. So 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 there was this there was a fellow who appeared on the show and then uh after the show the guy called the guy and said who I mean I won't come back on the show man can you imagine in my state everywhere people calling me oh we saw you we saw you my man I won't come back on the show I said no you ain't coming back <laughs> just because of what you said <laughs> well let's let's recognize a few of our guys um I see Moses Colley Jr. um asked for Kopor, Chris Nip, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, Jesse Yasia, Jesse Jesse B Yasia, ah Jesse B Yasia, this name sounds familiar. Konya Lofa, Konya Lofa, thanks for joining us tonight. Peter Bobo, yes, I hear the name Bobo. It reminds me of Lofa County. Isaka Sharif. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. A U.S. visa. Uh, <laughs> U.S. visa said, no provocation here tonight, Nelson. I'm not provoking, man. I'm not provoking anybody. Winker, Winker, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, Wendell, we appreciate you. Nathaniel Cahill, thanks for joining us tonight. Yes, man, it's going to be a great show. Kindly share the program as you come on tonight. Lots of issues to talk about. New new one, Twe, uh, Jonathan Pratt. I'm um, going up a bit. Um, Deborah Sele, thanks for being here. Sia Dennis, uh, Peter Reeves, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, the first person to come in was Amos T. Yes, Amos, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate all of you. Uh, Martin, Martin, Melon, and Meno, yes. Melvin Ture, Marcos, uh, Zibu, thanks Zibu. for joining us. Zibu, right? Yeah. And everybody, tap it. Yeah, tap it, Toby. Yes, thanks for being here tonight. So, Yes, man. Um, so we can we can get the show going. Um, uh, the guys will keep joining us. The rest of the guys will come in. 
But let's uh let's oh, let's man, do man, I man, you fair. You know you get correct me. Then you want to visit one begin me you fair. The man just decided not to display his real name. US me? visa. Yeah, visa. How, yeah, visa how, how can a name be US visa? Me. So your last, your last name visa and the family name visa. <laughs> The US. The 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 surname is Visa. Imagine. I mean, So, but it's it's uh it's gonna be a great show. Let's let's do our quick opening, then we uh, move into our discussion. Um, Francis, you can just take on. Let's see. Yeah, um... The first thing is that uh today 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 has been a holiday in Liberia. Okay, let me say yesterday now because it's 1 a.m. Uh, decoration day has been going on. Lots of uh, lots of activities around that. People have been visiting the uh, cemeteries and um, just remembering um, their loved ones and doing some cleaning up. And so um, March 15 is right next door. There's going to be another holiday on Friday. Yeah, so this is where we are. Um, but but let's 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 hear you do your opening, Francis, as we get ready to start the discussion. Yeah, you know, as we come on here every day, it's about Liberia. You know, sometimes I see the comment section, or as you guys can see, my wife be trolling me, uh, coming in the comment section, talking about I'm too loud and stuff like that. Yeah, I recognize that. You know, sometimes I talk like I got a hole in my head, but <laughs> man, <laughs> man, I get so angry, right? I get so angry. Uh, when, when, when I sit here and I see what's going on in our country, especially for me, you know, nobody can say, oh, I didn't experience hardship in Liberia or anything. I was there from the beginning of the war to the end of the war. The first bullet to the last bullet. I experienced everything before leaving Liberia. So I have, I'm one of those people that have the unique uh, 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 position to talk about oh, what the war did to Liberia. Then I was, uh, God bless me, I was able to come outside of Liberia to experience a different lifestyle. But to just see our country just go, uh, seem to go backwards every single time. And you know, one thing that possibly when I sit here, I think the reason why Liberia is not changing is because we're just recycling these old corrupt politicians. When I watch Spoon Talk and I watch other uh, news outlets and I see the same people from the 80s or before I was born as senators, Representative, or like Aaron Snowden, I was, I think he, at one point he was youth sport minister during Charleston time or something like that. Then all these people that just recycled from 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, all of them just recycled. The, that's the reason why our country is just backward, it's just where it is. Because I don't think they got anything new to offer our, our, our country. We need to sit down and look. That's why it was so refreshing to listen to Muhammad Ali speak. Uh, uh, last week, or uh, 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 yeah, I think last week or uh, uh, something, or uh, 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 spoke talk about uh, Liberia Water and Sewer. It's not just because he was pointing out him, but listen to his vision. It tells you that he's in the 21st century. But most of our, our lawmakers, our leaders, they are in the 19th uh, century. They have these old ideas, nothing new. They need to sit down, they need to be advisors. To the younger generation in Liberia, those kids that are going to school, going to college, are living in Liberia, that have uh, a love for that country, these older generations should give way and be advisors to, 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 to the younger generation. And uh, we can learn from that experience, but because we are competitive, we see what's happening around the world, and the, the digital age has brought the entire uh, world together, they should advise the younger generation and, and get out of the way. Because they are keeping the country stagnant. It's not going to move anywhere with this older generation still with that grip on power. But as we know, they say, uh, 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 with age come wisdom. That's why I, 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 we pray that President Baraka is the last boss stop for the older generation. And he should lay the foundation so that the younger generation that come after will build upon it. But our country will never go anywhere with these recycled politicians from the 70s. Thank you. You know, and that 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 might be a very good debate, Francis. But um, again, so many people may be asking the question: How do we get at that point where the uh, 
we get to make that decision about. In fact, how 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 do we even roll out this process of getting the young people, okay, getting the recycled politicians out of the way and bring in the new breed, the young people with fresh ideas? How is it going to happen? Nothing. It's and, and it's very nice. It's, 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 it's not going to be a kind of a switch on and switch off thing where you put the switch on, the light comes on, you, you switch, off, you turn it off and it's off. No, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not a quick fix. I, and it's so, simple, it? again, because... how, how, how is this possible in but a country the, where the majority of the young people uh, do not have access to opportunities? The majority of the young are, people are, are the majority. independent decisions. The labor pockets of the politicians. The but, politicians but, decide but which way to go. Same Muya, and then you see Muya, you get small thing, you go you eat it. Tomorrow you broke, you come out, you sing another Muya. You but go, that's what I'm saying. You go, it, you it, it, all Muya, about the mindset. The, the you know, youth. So I, how do we really achieve this? How is this the youth even is the majority right? of the voting base. The youth is the majority of the voting base in Liberia. Uh. If they just decide to change their mindset a little bit and decide to retire these old politicians one by one and vote in somebody that from the 80s, that was born in the 80s, born in the early 90s, and get rid of these people that were in government in the 70s. Imagine if you're in government in the 70s when you were born. You were born in the 50s. That's how cement called cement. It's about cement and making now. It was not the same cement. You see? So that's what the, the youth need to sit down and say rice. We've been eating rice since we were born. We'll continue to eat rice. It doesn't matter how they uh, get expensive, but we need to get these guys out and make them our advisor. If they want to be a vassal, let them go sit down on the farm. But uh, we, we, we need to make a change in that country because you watch what happened even with the war crime code thing, right? It's the same older generation that are still thinking like the war has not evolved, saying, oh, it will bring war. Where the, the, the Liberia is right now, there will be, the, 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 no, it's nothing is impossible, but the probability of war uh, breaking up or this destabilization breaking up due to a war crime code is slim to none. There's always that possibility, but the probability is very low. But as a see all that generation that keep pushing this politics, this scare tactics, and stuff like that, because they are they, they are not they don't have the vision that the younger generation have, that they don't see the world through the lens of the younger generation. Magnus, let's hear you, sir. What's in your mind? Your quick opinion. Yeah, I mean, um, so uh, quickly, I got I got two things in my mind today. I mean, uh, thinking in the direction of where Francis was going, but I mean. Uh, not actually in that direction. My point here is, I mean, today I listened to a podcast. There's a report. It's not. It's not concerning Liberia, though. But I just want to see what our country is doing about it. Uh, there's a report from a group called Glassstone uh, on uh, AI, the effect of AI to the to the to, to the human race, and that report made to the um the Congress, right? And I sat today and I listened to some of the things the guys were discussing and and like it or not, the world is advancing. You know, the point at which we were, there's, there's a revolution coming. They had the, they were industrial revolution in the late 1900s. This what we have is called a technological, I call it a term, the technological uh, a revolution because everything is gravitating towards technology. AI is developing very fast. Just in the month of February, we had like Copilot, we had Gemini 1.5, and the rest. So we have even AI tools that are developed that just create videos for you and just sit there and tell you, oh, do me a video of Francis saying S Y Z, and the, the, it will develop the whole video. Sora would do that. So my point here is when I kind of sit, I think, I think about Liberia, how far we are. What is our plan? I know we don't have the electricity now. I know we don't have the capabilities now, but we have to be planning because no matter what we do, we're going to get there. AI is coming. It's, 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 it's already here. What is our plan? How are we 
how are we going to tackle it? What is our policy? Is there a team set up by the government or the president to advise you on this? on these technologies because pretty soon you have investors coming to your country and they will be using these technologies how do you kind of sit around a table and discuss with it with the kind of people because i look at the whole formation of the government all of the places that they're announcing i've never seen anything like like a bow around technology or an advisory bow around technology, what we should do with technology. Social media is already there. Facebook is already there. What are we doing? How are we regulating these things for the benefit of, of our young people? Social media, mind you, social media got negative impacts. How are we regulating this thing? TikTok. TikTok is dangerous. If you don't know, go on TikTok now and search how can I... How can I kill somebody? They will bring you everything. And the thing about it, the next five days, all your algorithms, that's all the video they will be suggesting to you. All what they will be suggesting to you. That's how the internet is, 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 is kind of capturing the minds of people. We need to start thinking about these things. And lastly, quickly before I go, I think I saw a newspaper article that um, um, B Mountain has closed down one of their they are they are camps uh i mean it's gonna lead to 400 plus loss of jobs because of the protest i think the president and advisors need to step in and you know swiftly see what can be done because i mean if the people are not working there may be even more threats more riots or more more demonstration or more protests so i mean it is time for the president to and the advisors and the people responsible or the sector ministries responsible to see what is what is going on and how they can be able to 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 put that situation under control yeah. wow thank you thank you thanks a lot um for that great opening uh uh well it's going to be a spirited conversation tonight. As we speak, <clears throat> most of you are aware that the president set up the asset recovery team. And uh, a day following the pronouncement, following the executive order, the team was set up. There has, been, there has been a very critical view. We should have touched on that yesterday. We didn't get to have the time because we had a guest and we needed to give him the time to exhaust a whole lot that he had on the plate. So uh, the asset recovery team is saying that the president should consider dissolving that entire team, that we don't need anything such as, sorry, Sentar, Sentar, this group that has been very strong on corruption in the country, trying to promote good governance. They were on the back of the previous administration uh, on a yearly basis, they release scorecards of different countries through the mother body called Transparency International. And they get to say what the ratings of those countries are when it comes to the fight against corruption. Uh, Honor former President Ellen Johnson to relieve the highest score Liberia got uh, on the uh, Corruption Perception Index was 39, 39%. On a scale of zero to hundred, there were other there are other countries, especially in Europe, that are scoring good marks in the eighties and so. Liberia's highest score was thirty nine. Under President President Weir, it dropped. There were fluctuations, but at least Liberia managed to get okay. So the least Liberia got was twenty six. But who knows? There's another. Uh, report coming up for this year who knows what liberia's uh, position would be but uh this group is saying that for several reasons for many reasons mentioned in their statement or what have you based on their own analysis of everything they've seen happen there's a need for the president to consider dissolving the the uh asset recovery team as good as it is, or is sounding in the ears of so many people, the president should dissolve it. Why? 
they say, or according to them, this group, the function of this group is similar to that of what the LCC is set up to do. So you cannot have an asset recovery team going after assets when, in fact, we have the LACC that has the statutory mandate to ensure that individuals who siphon or take in vessel or whatever resources belonging to the country are made to, to pay back. So it's a replica and it undermines the LACC. Secondly, they want the president to dissolve the asset recovery team because some of the people who has who has staunch critics of the immediate past administration are on the team. They said the likes of uh Edward Martin, the counselor. He's on the team. This is someone who was who was who was pushed around by the previous administration. He was removed. He had that 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 ill feeling. He, you know, he was very bitter about what they did. But he's on the team. They went on to mention our own brother Martin Colley. According to Santa, Martin Colley has never written anything positive about the CDC government. Having such a man on the asset recovery team undermines the professionalism, the impas the, the impartial work uh, that that body should be doing. Do we agree with them or not? Is this debate or uh, this issue being raised by Senta? Is this something to go for? Does it appeal to the conscience or the consciences of thousands of Liberians across the world? Is this something for the president, his excellency, President Joseph Yuma Bwakai, to listen to? Is this something for the president to listen to? So I, I, I'm going to bring you this video here. I will bring you a video here from the guys. And then we will move to the next talking point. And then we'll move to the next talking point. Several auxiliary groups of the Unity Party during the heat of the October 10 elections are now expressing fear of abandonment by the Boakai administration. According to them, the Boakai administration is giving them absolutely no attention. No attention. Who are those groups? What exactly do they want from the government? Well, the spokesperson of the group is a gentleman by the name of Abraham Fakar. He said the president and the vice president, they're giving absolutely no attention to that group anymore. And they committed themselves to the struggle. They fought. They went in the trenches. They canvassed. They pulled people over to the, to the, uh, to the revolution, to the struggle. But disappointingly for them, they are not included in everything that's happening. On this talking point, so many questions and so many things to look at. Why do people get involved with political struggles? Why do people go out, reach out to people during campaign time and say, I want you to vote for this person, vote for John Brown? Is it because they want jobs? Do they do it because they want to see a shift, a change in their country? Or why should people be doing it in the first place? Should Liberians be voting for people based on what they can or what they will benefit? Or should it be on the basis of, of, of what the individuals they are selling bring to the table? How good those people are? How competent they are to do the job? Well, let's go in for our first video here. I want to bring in the video with uh, Senta. Senta says, uh, the president should dissolve the asset recovery team. I want us to take a look at this and then uh, we will come back on this one. 
let's take a look at this one here shortly causing uh fatuman hope you're having a great time good evening to you thanks for joining us tonight and i'm glad that you've joined us the legal mandate and state uh, funding to investigate and retrieve wrongfully required acquired government assets and seek the explanation of suspects involved if they if they were found to be out of the country. The action was later followed by the March 8, 2024 appointment of task force members, including Councillor Edward Clark Martin, a former executive chairperson of the Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission as chair of the committee and members including Mr. Alexander Coffey, former head of the Financial Intelligence Unit, now Financial Intelligence Agency, FRA, Dr. Renny B. Jackson, former superintendent of Bone County, amongst others. While we welcome President Bracay's determination to follow through on earlier statements regarding tackling corruption, we believe that the task force is not uh, appropriate or is not the appropriate channel for attainment of anti-corruption objectives due to the following reasons. The task force essentially assumes the role of the Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission, thereby making it a parallel LACC. And two, the task force is not independent as it is situated in the presidency and includes supporters of Wakai's 2023 presidential bid. On the question of the task force assuming the role of the LACC, we recall the following parallels in relation to the LACC out of 2022 in Executive Order Number 126. Section 4.1D of the LACC out of 2022 gives it the power to independently and in the name of the Republic of Nigeria investigate and prosecute any and all acts of corruption. Further, Section 5.2J provides that the LACC shall serve as the agency of government of Liberia with primary responsibility for the investigation of all acts of corruption. Meanwhile, Executive Order Number 126 provides in Count 2 that the task force has the mandate to constitute to constitute investigative panel to probe into Liberia's stolen and suspicious assets. Further, Count 4 of the Executive Order Number 126 mandates the task force to initiate immediate criminal prosecution and civil litigation where applicable on behalf of the government of Liberia. While LACC having primary responsibility for investigating and prosecuting corruption, Senta holds the view that giving the task force the power to investigate assets lost to corruption does not only create confusion, but serves to undermine the mandate of the LACC. Come to Section 5.2F of the LACC Act of 2022 provides that the Commission shall serve as the primary agency of the government of Liberia authorized to make and receive requests for the purpose of international mutual legal assistance in the combat against corruption. While considering of the Executive Order Number 126 mandates the task force to employ diplomatic and interpol means to extradite individuals identified as suspects that are outside the bailiwick of Liberia in order to bring them under the jurisdiction of the investigative team. With LACC being the primary agencies of government authorized to make and receive requests regarding international mutual legal assistance, including for extradition, Senta believes that LACC is being further undermined or its function is being dissolved. Count three assets within and out of the borders of the, of, of the country. By such provision, Senta also believes that LACC's territory is being encroached upon. Our next point regarding the task force goes to its independence. Laws establishing key anti-graft institutions provide for their operational and financial independence. It is therefore surprising that a task force mandated to recover stolen assets resides in the office of the president, example, Ministry of State, 
Center believes that such move is reminiscent of the past where anti-graph functions <coughs> were an extension of the presidency and were used as the at the whims and caprices of the president. Also, Centa holds the view that anti-corruption efforts need not be politicized, with anti-corruption efforts often regarded as wish hunts, any related mechanism have have having a dependent or political character will soon crumble under the weight of machinations. It is for this reason that persons leading anti-corruption efforts at integrated institutions are required to be politically neutral. It is for similar reasons that we now have laws requiring open and competitive recruitment to anti-graft institutions. Thus, assuming that the task force should be allowed to stand, its membership will not meet the neutrality benchmark. For instance, Mr. Martin N. Colley and Ms. Victoria Mosiman were big supporters of the 2023 bill of President Bwakai. Further, it is common knowledge that Councillor Kwa Martin lost his position at the LACC under the CDC administration, having him to head an asset recovery process that might involve officials of the immediate past administration will be construed as a wish fund. Let's 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 hold this let's hold this there a bit. <laughs> let's hold it there for a while. This is very interesting. Um, let me bring Mary on. Mary, thanks for joining us. Uh, welcome to the show. Now, this is the position here of Centav. Number one, you have an institution already that has a statutory mandate similar to that of what uh, you've given to the task force. Secondly, um, they the individuals on the team, if the issue of neutrality, political neutrality, professionalism, impartial uh, 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 discharge of duty or whatever is something to take into consideration, then the individuals on the tax force is another thing that raises some serious concerns. But but, but let's, let's, let's take on the conversation from there. Uh, Let's start with you, Magnus. Then we're gonna to go to Francis. You are muted, Magnus. Thank you, Nelson. I mean, did they call from Sintar? Is it is is this something that President Buaka should listen to? Is it worth giving some attention? Um, the, the the points they've outlined. He cited the LACC Act of 2022. We will go to some provisions of that Act as well. But 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 let's hear from you. Well, what's your take on this one? Yeah, Nelson, I mean, you know, center, the reason why sometimes our integrity institutions and sometimes our civil society organizations, we don't give them that much ears and, you know, when they speak to issues is, they are not very, some, most times they are not very balanced. This guy who was reading the, this press conference was the same guy who appeared on Spoon FM and said, uh, Jeremiah Kuhn Hospital was receiving budgetary allocation from the government and he was pocketing it. Right on the brink of the election, I think it was, it was a few days to us, he, he put a report out. Jeremiah had to come on that day and he escaped the conversation. He said he had written a report. Anybody can go on center website and go find a report when they try to quiz on the report. I think. The issue of the asset recovery team vis-a-vis -vis the, the LACC, the asset recovery team it starts with the, the mandate of recovering asset. And when it comes to corruption, when it comes to asset recovery, especially in places like Liberia, we have to be swift. We have to be fast. LACC is, is an institution that is set up legally, but then there are, there are constraints that may hold LAC because most of LAC report had to go to the legislature. Imagine the House of Representatives now. Imagine a report appearing before the House of Representatives and it's saying, President, we actually lost all here for the for the summer condominium with um with um uh Fernando City as 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 a speaker. You think it's gonna happen? 
it's not going to happen easily. That 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 report will never appear on the on the on the on the house floor. So for you to be able to expeditiously carry out this the asset recovery and and you know get what was stolen from the Liberian people in the space of six years or in the space of 12, 18 years, you have to be expeditious. You have to have a, a, a way of getting around it. What he's saying about people on the on the on the asset recovery committee, they are not they are not they are not independent. They, yeah, what? they they were still supporters of uh the Unity Party from the campaign period. He mentioned Ma Ma Martin Colley and uh, um um the lady uh on the team. He also mentioned um uh the the, the head of the team, yeah. Councillor Martin, Edward Clark Martin. Yes, Nelson. When it comes to the presidency, I don't know how people understand this thing. The president appoints people who work at his where his his pleasure. Mm -hmm. Nelson, if I have a son and I have a company and my son is qualified, who do I prefer to work in my company to help to hear any investigation in my company? My son or somebody that you said, I trust. You said if you have a son, yes, and you have your wife. If I have a son and I have other people, my son is very qualified. My son is. Is, is an, but in is, this case, in this case, in this yes, case, you yes, didn't have a son. Yes, in what, this case, you didn't have a son. Yes, you have yes, you had other people. Yes, what and I'm what trying you to did, do. what you did is that no, I'm I'm gonna use that scenario. What you did yes. is that you went and adopted a son okay. when you didn't have a son. Okay. You only had other people in this case, yeah. uh, and then you went. You didn't wait to get a son like 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 Francis did. Now Francis has a son. No, you didn't do that. You went and adopted okay, his son. I have, I, have I have a daughter. You already had issues. I have a daughter. You already had issues with the people that were there. So, mm -hmm. so is it in the case with the 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 the, the LCC now? Nelson, LCC Nelson, was already there. Nelson, my point here and is. My point here actually. is. My point here is. Ella Clamartin was now a member of the United Party. He was forced out of out of government by CDC for whatever reason they know. So if if Santa is coming on now to be defending CDC, is he is he is he afraid of 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 of, of the government targeting CDC? I mean, we have courts. So so my point I was trying to drive out when I'm talking about my son is mm -hmm. Nelson. In this situation, you need people you trust. You need people who. Will report directly to you. You need people who you can okay. go to their sound and, and 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 know that they're going to do the job. Are they qualified? Yes, they're qualified. But are you saying because they are they 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 they, they are not seditions? So should we go and appoint Akaras Moses Gray to head our committee? Yeah, why not? Representative Gray, or from the former lawmaker, is a Liberian. He's, he's a liberal. So, a so, so should, we, should we appoint him to head a committee? From a general who took things to the bank. But anyway, uh, we, we're going to come back to you, Magnus. Let's let's hear from Francis on this one. Fra Francis, where do you stand? Um, Senta is raising a very serious argument here. A serious debate, as a matter. I mean, I, I kind of get where they are coming from a little bit, but still. Like Magnus said, the president uh, um, have people that work at his will and pleasure. And the president campaign on law and order and uh, audit and all these things. LACC, who knows? LACC is a government entity. It could be compromised. He's not firing everybody from LACC. It's the same holdover from Judge We Are Time. Because if LACC actually did their job, right, they would have gotten uh, millions of dollars from the early Joseph Salif government that they have for 12 years, running out uh, uh, one of the most corrupt government. But the same LACC is there today. What confidence do the Liberian people have in LACC that they will uh, recover any asset, asset or do anything? They were there. The judge will have stopped them from, uh, from, from, from going after any government? I don't know. Maybe it's true. He told them, don't do it because I don't want them to, to, to uh, you guys, I don't want you guys to come after me too. When, when I leave office, but I don't think he, he judge where I told them that. So the si very same people are still there. So what confidence do the Liberian people have that they will, they will do a good job uh, on their behalf? Or is it because President Barca ran on uh, audit and as a recovery? No. So this that argument is out of place also on, on, on the other side of the coin. So, but when we come to the thing that he put together, yes, people will want to look at it because that's the biggest thing uh, now since Trump said wish Trump. Everybody around the world now, wish home, wish home, wish home. But 
let's look at this. If you come to, if I come and accuse you, Nelson, and say, oh, you, when you were in office, you, you, you stole $20 million, you built 35 houses. The evidence, we're not just going to come and say, oh, yeah, because I accused Nelson, so it's true, and I'm just going to seize all his assets. No, that, the court of law is there. You can you 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 can uh, uh, argue that oh yes. I earned all that that thirty five million dollar within six years and show how you got it or within six years how other connection whatever the case would be I was able to build these houses and bring evidence if you bring evidence to prove that you are not corrupt it doesn't matter if Claire Martin doesn't like you or President Parker doesn't like you the evidence will speak for itself. There's not a criminal case where they say, oh, somehow uh, ran behind the house there, another person ran in that same direction, but when you got there, the other person already lay on the ground. So now everyone was suspect that that person that ran after the other person possibly hurt that person that's on the ground. But this one is something that people have to be able to prove that you store government uh, uh, assets and used for, person, uh, for personal use. And the evidence has to be glaring. So it doesn't matter who is uh, over there. It can be JMB himself or JKK himself. You accuse people. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. But they will always come with a uh, wish one, wish one thing. If you didn't see anything, what are you worry about? It should be simple. You know, uh, but, 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 you know if, if, even before going to that aspect of the debate, uh, Francis, Let's look at this argument from Sintal when they say that the neutrality of this team is going to be questionable. They are equally concerned about the membership, the people who are on the team. According to Sintal, Martin Colley has never written anything positive about the CDC administration. Nothing. What's the guarantee that such a man serving on the asset recovery team will do a great job? Nothing. Everything will be questionable. You can even go and bring foreign auditors from planet Mars to Liberia mm -hmm. to audit. Somebody will say, oh, because JMB government, he sent for those people from Mars, those aliens that come to audit, they are compromised because JMB brought those people himself. He handpicked them and brought them. So it's compromised. But no, I'm not dismissing that concern. Okay. Well, yes, a lot of these people can, uh, pretty much in some way, shape, or form campaign against the, uh, uh, the, the, the former uh, administration. But my, my point here is this. Accusing somebody of doing something is one thing, but proving it is another thing. So the hardest, the burden of proof is on the, the, the team that is coming after these people and accusing them of corruption they have to prove. All the accused have, uh, has to say is, I didn't take it. These are my evidence. And Francis, stuff. But Francis, you... uh, co considering the issues that are being raised here, these concerns, are they worth listening to? Nothing. They just muddy the water. Because who, one, who we, cannot, we cannot focus on NACC. Because like I said previously, NACC mm -hmm. is the same people that have been there during George Riata and they did not go after any government. So I just think they are incompetent. So why should we go back to them? But now this team, being as it may that they are, these are people here picked by Joseph Parker, yes, anybody will say, oh, uh, um, they, they, they are going to come after uh, CDC. Okay, let's agree. That's true. But if you as a CDC and you are in office, you did not steal, you did not build houses uh, be, uh, that you couldn't afford before coming to government and there's no evidence that banks give you loans and stuff like that to build those houses you just build those houses those mansions within six year term and look at your salary even with uh, incentives all put together for six years you cannot afford to even lay the foundation for those houses or the businesses that you own why should the Labour Party care that it's a unity policy that's accusing you when you cannot show evidence that these things you earn them? So why should the Labour Party care about that? Yeah, Nelson, yeah, Nelson, just one second before mm. before before Marie comes in. I mean, yeah. So so we all talking about LACC and everybody. Who is the head of LACC? Councillor Alexandra Zou. 
I mean, she's qualified. She won the law school. But Alexandra Zo was appointed. She's she's been appointed three times. This is a, I think, a fourth appointment by by George Weir. So she left from the telco. She came to LACC. Fourth appointment by George Weir. Fourth appointment by George Weir. And then there you go. There How you go. You? How do you? My, 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 my you're driving up. You're driving us to that same point. Uh, where center is sitting and making this comment. That's that's where you're taking us, Magnus. Then 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 then, then nothing. Ma, then the, the argument I'm making from this from the end of 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 of, of the U, United Party led government. How do I trust somebody mm -hmm. who has been who was appointed who was elevated by George Weah three times, and just in twenty I think in twenty twenty three was 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 appointed at LACC, just on the break of the election. Councilor Alexander, Alexander Zo and some group of people put people together from 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 the uh, 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 Labra Female Lawyer Association to support Josh Weir until the Female Lawyer Association had to do a rebuttal press conference. How do I trust somebody from there to lead investigation for asset recovery? So so why should Senta, on the other hand, trust people? Who canvassed, who heavily supported the Unity Party for the past six years, promoted the Unity Party, were broadly seen supporting the Unity Party. Why should Senta, why shouldn't Senta have an issue with those people being recruited to serve on the asset recovery team? when it is going to be maybe going after people who serve in the immediate past administration why shouldn't this organization raise a concern nothing nothing so, sim sim similar concern nothing. that you, you are raising with uh consular is alexandria zo but then that's that's where that's where that's where center um, um, integrity comes in but what i'm saying is nothing who stood on the podium and said the mm -hmm. library is not going to be business as usual. Was it Senta? President Buaka. Was President Buaka? Who do, who do you think? Who do you think integrity is on the line? If President Buaka entrusts the job to LSCC and LSCC field, you think it is Alexandra Zo who needs going to be on the line or is going to be President Buaka? So don't you think President Buaka needs to put his own team together to be able to do the job or to be able to deliver on his promises because nelson man you this particular point this particular period in our history is very crucial we are setting a benchmark for tomorrow because you know you know i'm happy about this whole thing i'm not mm. happy about this asset recovery because people are going to go after sedition or people who work in early government before or whatnot i'm happy because when 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 the president said this president even our our friends who are getting into the government in United Party now, they will they will try carefully because they know President Buaka has caught some people before. Those who are coming after them will not be afraid to go after them. So our wow. thank you, Magnus. Magnus, we're gonna come back to you. Let's let's have Marie, let's let's give Marie a time to make her, her input on this uh, point, on this talking point. Marie, please go ahead. Let's hear your take. Where do you stand on the issues being raised by uh, Sinta? Well, Nelson, I, I don't think um, the individual said that relaying the information is is, is to be um, taken serious. Knowing Why? the fact that, you know, during the election, he himself had a position. He even tried to implicate the vice president. And then, you know, um, it didn't go according to plan. One thing I want to say is that government is continuity, but um, trust is very important. No one is going to work with somebody that they don't trust that will deliver their agenda. Um, this is just the handwork of CDC. They have diverted from the point of, oh, um, you guys also have to, y'all start from uh, 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 Ellen Johnson time, and now they come to, this part of the team not being um, trustworthy enough. 
I think citizens and the librarian people need to understand that nobody needs to sugarcoat this. They are going after the CDC. It's not, oh, maybe, or this and that, they will be going after. We are going after the CDC because they are the one who left power. And because of the corruption that went on, the LACC is known to be an anti-corruption uh, 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 entity. But we heard we heard of more corruption going on in the government from Spoon and other networks than we heard from the LACC. They was very quiet during the, the, the Josh Weir regime. So they have nothing to offer. I think it's, it's very important that uh, President Barca be able to pick his own team, put his own people together that he trusts, that's going to get the job done. And I think they're scared because uh, the few indig individuals that was put together by yeah. the president are mm -hmm. capable of getting the job done. Look, uh, again, we come back to this particular point. Mary, we're going to come back to this particular point. They are concerned is about the not 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 just the credibility aspect and all the other ones you want to talk about, but they are equally concerned about the impartial discharge of duty here. Senta is concerned about the fact that asset recovery team, people who do or uh, who served in those anti graft institutions or semi uh semi anti graft functions or carry on those kinds of functions they are politically neutral and so the political neutrality is another point that they're raising here they believe that some of the individuals serving on this asset recovery team politically are not neutral and that's where um the the the, the whole idea of this asset recovery thing is, is going to be undermined because when you're not politically neutral, sometimes you're trying to do the right thing. It gets to be misconstrued as you carry on some kind of political witch hunt or whatever. Do you agree with that? that, that no, part? because Nelson, let's be honest here. Regardless mm -hmm. of who's going to be doing the, the investigation, it's mm -hmm. nearly impossible to find people that are politically neutral. Okay? Nearly Somebody, impossible. Yes. Can we find him? Look at what we is saw. Is it possible, Marie? Can we find him? Look at where we saw on tenure position. No, no, okay? Marie, I know, I know you're in on this question, but is it possible? Can we find him? Can we it's find possible, him? It's possible, but then possible? again, well, the, the, the only possibility would, say, would be like, let's go and bring international people in, right? But then at the end of the day, those no, no, people... No, no, Marie, 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 you, you, you will continue with your point. But is it impossible here in this Liberia? It is absolutely find people, to you, find people who are politically neutral. You have somebody absolutely no. You have somebody here in the LACC right now that was put in by the the the, the president that left, and mm -hmm. he is going to be investigated. And apart from her, I'm sure there are other two, three, four, five people within that entity that are seditions without bringing it out. Not everybody is going to come out, but it's impossible because somehow, even you, Nelson, you was being independent during the election, but you voted for someone. You you you, you have a a, 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 a that's Marie, the Marie. support. That's a, a point. A, a, all that's seven of them, all seven of them are over there. They were confirmed on September fifth, two thousand twenty-three. Seven, all seven of them, they just got it. These people, these are people that was that that they removed Clark Martin. And they put these people in, right? There, are, there, 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 there were people that was put. There are people that was put in by the by the past okay. government. Okay, guys. Since, since since you want to take this conversation here, okay, let's remain here and take a look at this from another uh, point. Okay, so assuming the CDC had not done the 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 the, the 11th hour appointment of those individuals at the LECC. Assuming that it was still Edwin Clark Martin at the LECC. Assuming that it was uh, some group of people, you know, people who are neutral or what have you. Will you agree with the point that Senta is raising now? Let's 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 start with Francis. Just assuming that, okay, so since uh, Magnus raised the concern about 
the current um, um, head of uh, the LECC, uh, the councillor Alexandra Zo, of uh, being in some, you know, having some political neutrality issues. Uh, especially with the female lawyer association thing that happened when she rallied people to allegedly support president, former president we are, and the people came back to say no, it was it was her own thing she was doing and so, and, and so on. But assuming she wasn't in the picture, will you agree with the point that Senta is raising now that look, forget about asset recovery team, give the function to the LACC, let them do the job because they have the statutory mandate. To do similar thing that the asset recovery team has been uh, set up to do. Francis, let, let's start with you quickly. Nelson, uh, LACC, uh, correct me if I wrote a step for Liberia uh, Anti Corruption Commission, right? Yeah. Do they, do they have to wait for instruction from the president that is in office before uh, uh, auditing agencies or going after other people to recover? Asset or to uh, fire corruption, do they need direct instruction from the president? Or as an agency, they are clothed with the, with the authority to go the authority wherever to corruption is, that. right? They have the authority to do that. You have the internal, uh, uh, the, the internal audit agency, you have the general audit agency, uh, the GSC, and all of those people. But the, the LACC is, uh, is more like uh, the big brother, you know? Right. So the yeah. reason I ask this question is, is, is just to make a point here that the fact that this group was in uh, power or was, in, uh, was existing mm -hmm. in the last six years yeah. did not go after the previous government, no. did not even go after the, 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 exist, the government at the time. Why should we trust them? Why should the people trust which, 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 which group are you talking about, Francis? Which, which group are you talking about? The LACC. Oh, oh, okay, you mean the LACC? Yeah, oh. because Senta is talking pretty much uh, advocating for uh, why Senta, I mean LACC, I mean, the, the, the task force shouldn't be established because it is the job of LACC. Yeah. yeah. So why should they be advocating for LACC uh, uh, when this, when that very same agency is being existing? For the last six years, it did nothing. So why now? And then with Magda and, and, and Marie pointing out that the leadership of the folks there right now, they were just appointed a few so, months so, ago. So, so, so Francis, I know you're the, trying to uh, find a way to dodge this question. Francis, no, and, and let me go back to the question. Assuming the current team at LECC is not there, hmm? mm -hmm. the point that Senta is raising, will you agree? Are you going to agree with Senta on that point? That we shouldn't have a tax force. On what, on what condition? Mm -hmm. If the team that is there have ha, ha, has a track record of auditing people, of going after corrupt people, or where they smell uh, corruption, they're going to even. No, no, but, but, but take for example, take for example, take for example. No, Francis, you just reminded me. Take for example, take for example, a very good example. The former NPA boss. Uh, uh, what's his name now? Senator of Rivers County. Um, uh, Senator, 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 Senator Bill Tory. Yeah, the senator. He, along with uh, some officials of government, I'm trying to get the name of the other people, they were involved in some scandal. Allegedly, in fact, that that case was one of the, the the issues raised by the U.S. government that that led to the sanction that was brought uh, on Bill Tory and others when uh, they allegedly set up an account uh, with the port of Buchanan, they set up their own company, and then they went and started receiving the money, millions of dollars. That case when, yeah, Makata de Gaulle, yeah, you're right, the the guy at the port city of Buchanan. And the guy came out and said everything. He let the car out of the bag. He, he said he wasn't going to be a sacrificial lamb. But the LACC took siege of that matter. Just so you know, LACC oh, no, no. investigated, LAC, LACC investigated, and you know the rest of the story. But what? but don't, don't ask me for the outcome. No, 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 no. Because if you, if you are going to bring it up, I'm trying to say. If you are going to bring it up, that I'm means you are going say. somewhere with it. You are I'm going somewhere with it. Okay. Francis, I'm trying to say 
that the LCC has a history of going after corrupt officials or individuals <clears throat> in corruption. What has not been good has been the outcome of those processes. But in terms of going after people, they've been going after them. I, I don't know how to say <laughs> this. I, 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 no, I, no, what was the result? What was the result? Michael, let me finish up quickly. Let me finish up, Princess. You are joking. You are yeah, joking. Guest over. Panelist. Let, let's bring Mikael on, on. He will be a guest panelist uh, on tonight. He wants to make an input. But but, but go ahead. Conclude. You are conclude. joking uh, over here, Nelson. You know, it's not something to joke with because these mm. people, uh, they be playing around. How you? Mm. What's the outcome? No outcome. No outcome. And then you have 12 years of any government that you could retrieve hundreds of millions of dollars. Nothing. Six years of George Weir, hundreds of millions of dollars. Nothing. Man, there's not, but then tax force will stay. Let us say, which one? But if we wish on you, they might prove us wrong. Then you go with your millions that you earn within six years that you have, that you did not have before coming in six years. Then you can keep it. Thank you. Uh, uh, let, let's hear you, Magnus. Yeah, Nelson. I mean, I definitely am. I just want to start from where 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 uh, uh, Francis ended. Mm -hmm. Nelson, if you now wish, why are you crying for wish home being anything? Yet? You know, you now wish. Forget about it. What wish home? Nelson, we here, all right? Center. I mean, the the central bank just admitted to. To the 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 GSC that the the they were ordered by the Ministry of Finance through the president yeah. to borrow a three million. That one was outside of the law. What was center position? I just checked on their page. We don't see center position. My brother, that whole Beltoway case. What was center position? That Beltoway case. I mean. You just gave a good example. What happened to a better a senator right now? So do we trust the same people now? I mean, Nelson, we know they've been arresting things. They've been taking seats of, of, of investigation and prosecuting. We want result-oriented team. We want a team with result. The president needs result. We don't want people who will be investigating until that cannot come. We want a team with result. Right now, all of the all of the people who took money, money mismanagement all around here, what we go, what we hear in the few time for LSC, and they run it beyond some few guys that stole one million. I know why I've been the one million might give you that the people they come in jail. Why the mean people who build condominiums and mansions all around here over there? Nobody asking them. Nobody asking them. So why should we wait for the LSC? Why should we wait for the LSC? It was last year that the uh, 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 CDC. So, so, so again, 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 again. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Magnus, you're mm. trying to. Now, the, the, the question is mm. assuming we didn't have this team. And I know we want to go back to the track record. And Nelson, everything. Nelson, 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 the Nelson, team, the same question to Francis, the same question Nelson, to you. Nelson, let me answer question. We didn't have the team. Will you agree with Sintal on this point that? We don't need an extra tax force. Now, see, the LSCC was really using our teeth they have to bite. Hmm? If they, they were really using our teeth they had to bite, right? Mm. We're not we're not near a tax force. Mm. Sincerely, yes. My brother, LSCC said, yeah, they gave they gave warning that everybody should declare that asset before they leave government. What happened to the people that never declare that asset? Anyway, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 Marie, please come in. Let me bring uh, Amy, Masha Territory on. And um, Marie, assuming we didn't have this team, because I well, what I see on set here tonight is both of the concerns are, are based on the fact that, oh, those people were appointed by former President George Weir. Uh, uh, President George Weir people then. So, uh, you know, you can't trust them. But assuming we didn't have those people then, but we agree with Senta that we don't need an asset recovery team to recover the asset that the, 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 the LCCs that has the statutory mandate should be given 
the space to operate. Divert the funding that are going to be used to recover the asset given to this asset recovery team. Divert it, further empower the LACC so they can do their job. No. You're still not <laughs> agree with Santa. I don't, Nelson, because um, the LACC was not productive. You can't take that away. They wasn't productive for the past six years, okay? And one thing I like about Santa, they did not they did not say that these people are not qualified to do the job. What they're saying is they might be compromised because they supported the, the president to get to where he is. But let me tell you something. Trust is very important. This tax force need to be a tax force that Joseph Barker trusts because even the LACC could be implicated in this in this investigation. Wow. So wow. it's important that he trusts them and he knows that they're going to do the job that he asked them to do. There were findings during the, uh, the six years of Josh Weir, which I know of because CDC talk, I mean, CEO talk a lot about how much documents that uh, Edward Mountain have, right? There were findings, but was it, was it put forth? Did they, did they enforce it? No, they did not, okay? So if, if CDC feel like they did not steal, I don't I don't see the need to be worried. Um, they should just wait. Let the investigation happen. And so, everything needs proof. Harrison, Harrison Bachipo wrote a very interesting comment here. It says, Where was where was the where was the center? Uh, it should be Centaur, not Centaur. But where was Centaur and the LACC? And what did they what did they do when President Ellen Johnson Shirley took responsibility for Noka Saga? What did they do when Abu Kamara admitted to stealing 800000 from the transport ministry? What did Centaur and the LACC do? But Abu Kamara admitted. Abu Kamara admitted. And uh, he had to pay the money to court. He had to pay the money. He not pay? Exactly. Abu Kamara, I understand there was some payment plan that was made. Abu Kamara had to be paying that money small, small. The susu money he said, pay money. You got to be paying it small, small. Abu Kamara was stopped at some point from participating in the election. He went and challenged it in court. He won. Exactly. He won. So, so I, I, I mean, get, should, should we drag? Should we drag Santa uh, into this? Is there any reason to drag Santa into this? Look, Nelson, the first thing is that LACC do not know that the position they have. Investigation should be something that's continuity. You, you have uh, FBI, you have other entities that investigate, you know, Homeland Security 24-7, everything that's going on around the country that seems to be corruption, they will investigate without being told, okay? There were a lot of uh, scenarios that came for corruption in their country, they did nothing. You had the NTA boss that came and sat down and, and they told him based on the budget, they said he got two million, he said he got only $200,000. What did they do about it? Nothing. Okay, so you 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 cannot tell the president say these same people that was in government for six years they saw all these broad corruption going on and did nothing about it. I Thank should you. leave my faith to them when I Thank told you. my librarian people that business will not be as usual. No, he's doing it his way in order Thank to you. get the result that he wants. Thank you, I Emmy. Mean, I want to say welcome to the show. Um, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, and um. We would like to hear your take on this. Our brother, uh, Nick Hill, uh thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, you express interest to make an input here tonight. Yeah. As, Thank uh, you. So, uh, but, I mean, let's hear your take on this issue. Senta is saying that the government, mm -hmm. President Barkai, like, 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 uh, the senator, uh, what's his name? Um, the senator who said, Senator Yaya Nimle. Like Senator Yaya Nimle saying, take it from your agenda. Take it from there. <laughs> what I'm called, take it from there. <laughs> take it to the third year, the fourth year. Take it from there, it will not power it. 
like Senta Yaya Nimle, Senta is saying, as a recovery tassel, take it from there. Give it to LACC. Let LACC be the one to do this job. Why? Senta says, because some of the people that are on the asset recovery team, and they 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 they, they, they mention some names. Senta mm -hmm. says Martin Colley, for example, has been a supporter of uh, of 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 President Barkai. He has never written anything positive about CPC. And you 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 go to um uh, the other members of the team, even the chairperson. So they think that the team should be resolved or dissolved rather. Where do you stand on that, Demi? <laughs> so thank you, Nelson. Thank you, everyone. Um, first of all, Nelson, this whole asset recovery thing. I don't think it's something that somebody uh just gonna be like it's not gonna be like the banana republic, like anybody would just come and say go ahead and confiscate uh this person property without any a, a process without going to court, without proving anything, because I don't like the person or because whoever they mentioned said that a uh, supporter person in Waka does not like the person. I, that's not how it's going to work. I don't care if I like you or not. If I'm on a team like that, if I accuse you for something, nothing, I have to show proof for it. If you said no, it's not. This is my own earning. You have to show proof for it. I'm not just going to say grab Nelson and put him in jail and people go putting hang up on you and, and, or take nothing property from him and it's just going. So it's, 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 I don't want to say the word, but yeah, it's useless. But I don't know why the uh, 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 coming up to be, everybody want to be giving boy got some orders around here. I don't know why everybody think they have that, <laughs> that race or they can tell him to all oh, do this and don't do that and don't do that. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand who, who is in time, by the way. You know, and 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 you know, this is where we are. I mean, you you you. Who is Senta? You, 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 you I agree. Senta is um, uh, you know, <laughs> I hate to do this, but uh, Magna, who is Senta? Senta is, is the local. Is that another name? <laughs> no. All right. Who is uh, that? So, uh, Senta is is a. Uh, an advocacy group is a corruption watch institution is a local really? chapter of transparency international they try to fight against corruption and promote good governance um it's, it's from that backdrop that the no mother body, established. The mother no body established. No, no, i mean i mean i mean i mean we 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 we, we, we we are not do we're not do center profile tonight. Oh no, because right? if so, you telling me uh, that these people have the right or they're coming no, up to no, be no, telling no, people again, to be rude, I want us to I face it. I, I did I not mean, know they had such a, a, a yeah. A, maybe you've not been following organization uh, in the yeah, country because right? we had so much mess going on no, and there was no. Maybe uh, you've not uh, been anything. following up on that, I mean, But yeah, you know I'm because they yeah. haven't been working. That's why. Look, uh, uh, I mean, here the previous administration. Mm -hmm. was pushed to the wall by this very organization as well. Especially really? when they started to temper with the, the, the anti-graft institutions, the tenure issues, they were being seriously criticized, uh, uh, undermining the functions of anti-graft institutions. Because one of the reasons why they will most times place some emphasis on the need for those anti-graft institutions to be financed, heavily supported, so that they can do their job is because they believe that when the anti-graft institutions are giving the necessary support, that will promote the fight against corruption. That is where, that is what drives uh, Transparency International annual perception index scorecard that comes up. Other countries around the world have some very good school uh, a mark on that school card. Liberia have been performing poorly. And situations like what we have now are mm -hmm. some of the very factors that has led to some countries performing poorly on the index. Okay, but, but so now it, 
again, it, it, I mean, the the unit of party thing, you know, the CDC thing at the end of the day. I, I want us to engage this thing with with a very objective. Okay, view. so this is this. All I'm right. not being. Stop saying that. Unit. I'm not a unit. I'm not anybody partisan. I keep telling you, I don't know. Uh, whatever. I started paying attention to uh, 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 um, Liberian politics. Because I went to Liberia and I did not like what I saw. So I said, this man has to go. And I had to pick a side. And I okay. and I, and you was pick right a side? So I'm not a United Party. So if I'm saying something, hmm. don't put me with that party hard thing because it doesn't work with me. Okay? So, so I can't so, move so, my country. So why, why you don't want to be associated with Wait, because wait, I'm, wait. Not. Backhide, I'm not. Backhide, backhide. You supported UP on this platform. For yes, I supported a lot of people supported UP. I'm not a, a, a something, but listen, mm. even in America, I'm an independent. I'm not anybody, whatever. So listen, if right, so John says you are UPist. Yeah, 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 we are. <laughs> said you are UP. That but other party is like that. We don't. We're not talking about him. So. Let, he but he live in Breeze, that's DC. So that one of the thing that but anyways, in Liberia, mm. on that thing, what I noticed, right, is that people just come up and just give statements, statements, statement, and act like they're doing something, but they're doing nothing. That's what I noticed. All these things you're saying, oh, they were post what they were pushing the web. Okay, so what did they do? Because there was a lot of irregularity that went on. What did they do? I didn't even know they had an organization like this in Liberia. I did not know. Okay, so just come here and say, "Oh, I'm against it." Also, I'm this, I'm that. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Use the power that you have. Let me see your track record. Then I would say, "Okay, these people are uh, the mean business." So maybe if they're saying that they know what they're talking about, right? Not somebody that like sat there, people taking money, they're doing this, they're doing it. You go after the little rats, the, the, the little Zogoden, but leave the coastal Zogoden walking around, driving cars, and doing everything. You don't go after those women because you're afraid of them or whatever, or because you don't want to lose your job, you don't want to impeach you, whatever, or in, uh, 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 all wrong, whatever. So I don't really be giving that, oh, they were forceful, they were this, they were that. It doesn't mean anything. So what was it? At the end of the day, what happened? Did they take action? Did somebody go to jail? Did somebody, did, did it happen? No. So it doesn't matter what a Martin Culley or whoever on that team, Martin Culley has no right to lie on anybody and they take anybody access from them without doing any due diligence, for, without them going to court, without them doing none of that. No, that's not how it works. Okay. So they can be scared all they want, wish home, cat home, dog home. That's their own business. Now that they, they, they take it from oh move, go back to a year and they, they just want to detect to this man how to do what to do and what how to do it and it doesn't work like that. So they need to relax. Like I said before, if you're not a witch, if they tell you that they're bringing what I think is Sasa Wu in yeah. time to do the hunt the, the witch, don't be don't be scared. Do what you gotta do. You know you're not a witch, don't be scared. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Emmy. Nelson, Nelson, a quick point, right? Nelson, 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 quickly. I just, I was just on center website, right? In the last six years, President, we have president position at the uh, LACC under the CDC administration, having him to head an asset recovery process that might in Monsieur were big supporters of the 2023 bill. Martin N. Colley and Ms. Victoria Monsieur were big supporters of the 2023 bill of President Bakai. Further, it is common knowledge that Councillor Kwa Martin lost his position at the LACC under the CDC administration, having him to head an asset recovery process that might involve officials of the immediate past administration will be construed as a wish fund, even if there is a reasonable basis for the task force's action. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we are of the opinion that the Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission is empowered by law to recover assets lost to corruption. Hence, as has been done with Executive Order Number 126, requiring provision of funds, we believe that the LACC should be adequately supported to fulfill its mandate. We therefore recommend the following. One, that the asset recovery task force be 
uh, dissolved in funds directed to support LACC, especially the asset recovery unit of the commission. As President Baca acted against his initial plan of commissioning international auditors and became confident in the General Auditing Commission's ability to deliver, we believe that similar wisdom can be applied to repose confidence in the LACC in fulfillment of its mandate. Two, if the task force must be maintained, it has to be led by the Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission and not exclusive of the commission as it is as it is currently. Also, members appointed to the task force must have track records of integrity and be perceived to be independent and or <clears throat> politically neutral. Finally, we encourage the government to respect the mandates of existing anti-corruption institutions and blah 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 this is where we are nothing this is where we are you you, 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 you you're gonna come in uh you're gonna come in let's let's hear from our brother here um 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 Mikael. go ahead let's 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 hear your take on this issue where where do you stand on uh this particular issue can you unmute oh yeah you hear me now yeah okay good Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let's say thank you for bringing me on. I'm happy to be here with you guys. This is my second time, the first time again. I wasn't here long. But Nelson, your questions is very valid. You know, and that question needs to be answered correctly. And, you know, like, first of all, let me say this. Let me establish this. Liberia is a third world country. And we are here looking for funds, help all across the world to build Liberia. And we are trying to fight corruption all over the place. We cannot start, we cannot keep establishing group for us to be paying in high end money that the country don't even have. And even people are working in the government, not even taking pay on time, but keep you know build, opening another entity, entity upon entity to do the job that we already got people doing. Hmm. So I mean that's a clear a, a plain field for us to go into. But so now, so so are, are you are you saying that you agree with the position that Senta is taking here that uh the, the, the function of the asset recovery team should rather be uh uh, uh given to the LACC and that the, 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 the team should be dissolved? Yes, absolutely. So now let me make my point on that. Now the thing is this first of all, LACC by by its by its definition not need to be any partisan or any political people or even affiliate if you say with political party for any way possible mm -hmm. first of all if what i want to do this then the the, the, the uh, some type people saying you got to listen to them establish a neutral group you can even fire all those guys in there because they are kind of affiliated with setting political party in the country they will mm -hmm. never do liberian people job because that particular entity was established by the Liberian government to do certain piece of work for the Liberian people, not for any political party. That established that first. You understand? So going into this, if it costs us to get rid of everybody either since they are affiliated with a political party, not get rid of them. And that vet people, that good Liberian people all across, all across the globe that can do that work. There's some Liberian that now affiliated with no political party. And we can bring them on the government vector through different entities. And we take the pure people out. I mean, don't get me wrong, we still get good people. Not everybody so, 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 but, with... but what's the assurance? My in, your, is... in, your, in your, no, no, no let, let me come here, Ben. Mary, you will come mm -hmm. in. I see you trying to, to make a point, but this is the issue. Is it possible in this mm -hmm. country Yes. to do the vetting and see people who have absolutely no affiliation with any political party. Because the, the, the next concern that's coming up is the issue of political neutrality. That's, okay, that's, let that's me, let me that's answer that question as we go forward. Let me answer aspect. that question as we go forward. You yeah. know, there are some people who are affiliated with political party. Let's establish yeah. let, Let's say that, you know. Mm -hmm. But you got to look at that track record into this country, into Liberia as a country. Where mm -hmm. have they been doing? what position have they ever heard in liberia or where are there you know advocates for liberian resources or whatever you want to say it. you understand that look at our track record people track record are out there people know people you understand 
if we want to do this, we can do the well, game. Well, but that, that may require a lot of time. And and, and give this side in our comment session here yeah, is saying, yeah. give this side is saying that look, we don't have time. We don't have time. And, and many other but, Liberians are saying this. Perhaps President Barker uh, is taking this into serious consideration. Nessie, Nessie, you see, you see, that this is going problem. to be time consuming. Listen, listen. You see, that's our problem as a country. Mm. Liberians never want to do anything correctly for it to be done properly. You understand? We always rush with time, 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 time. That thing been happening for Charlie King time. We don't have time to do nothing. Why can't we take time? And establish their group, even if they don't work doing. I mean, even they start late because Joe Baga got says here. Think about that. You understand? Joe Baga not just gonna jump on the people right now. The, the uh, 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 my sister was just saying. Amy was just saying. This will be through the court system. It's just gonna be done properly. So if we keep rushing time, 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 and those people start. I mean, we don't get the proper way to start the thing or the correct way to go about it. Guess what? We're going to end up to the same place, and those same guys so, will still be passing around B car while they're running behind Zopo Irele. So, so, so in conclusion, you, you agree that uh, as a recovery team should be dissolved, focus on the LACC, let mm -hmm. the LACC be uh, reshuffle, or let there be some shaking, get professional people, and get the function of the asset recovery team to the LACC. Yes. Yes. Uh, those people who in there, there. Yeah, those people who in there who are affiliated with parties or party, any political party, read them out, then make sure we put some good Liberians who know how to do the job, instead of establishing all those entities that will get them. Think about it. We'll be paying the LACC, and we'll be paying those guys, the, 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 whatever the name is, we'll be paying them as well. I mean, that. you know that need. Don't say why what that need is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah as a recovery team. Yeah, as a Think about that. Uh, me, me, yeah. well, let me, let, let me, let me hold you there a bit, Mickey. Okay. Um, I mean, I see you wanted to make a quick point, and then we bring Mary in. Yeah. Um. The only thing I agree with him on is that if we are paying double paying people, like maybe has to be paying LACC and then paying these people too. That could be. I could understand that part of it. But if you're talking about people with tribe record, I think that this is the group. JMB, look at these group, tribe record. Um, these people with tribe record. That's why he appointed them. We, can put right we all know that he's been. Yeah. What? We can put that right in there. Edison, we'll get rid of those guys. So, yeah, we so, yeah, we, we can do that. But he looked at that tribe record because if we look at this, the head of this group, he was going after people for corruption. That's why he got wrongly removed. That's why in the CDC government. So he got he has a record for going after people, not because it was okay. sedition, thank, no, thank, because thank they were you. doing the wrong thing. And when you look at I mean, Martin, Martin, uh, Kula, what's his name? Kula, Kali. Kula, Kali. <laughs> you, you, you see what he's and doing, then, and then, and, 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 and then <laughs> Kula, yeah. So, Kali, yeah, these yeah. people do have the track record. If you, I want to agree with you on the you know, maybe paying it double, paying the other people, and then have to you know, pay it would be more money. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't understand that part. Okay, Marie, you want to take part of yeah, now say, well, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but what the brother is saying, I I thought is is not possible. I thought the LACC is a tenure position. It's a tenure position, and, and you're they, right. The commissioners, um, you know, yeah. have tenures. Oh, so yeah, she has a point. Again, again, it's a tenure position, but again, this is where we are. There's something very interesting that happened recently with the L, uh, the LTA commissioners went to court. But the other side of the debate is there are some institutions that you have the NEC. Um, um, you have the, the LCC as well. Yeah, LCC, the those GSC. institutions, the GSC, those institutions are established uh -huh. by the organic law of the country. Right. That one, not any kind of quasi law, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so yeah. you see, Nelson, yeah, Nelson. that, that yeah. is the reason why, because LACC is a tenure position, and the people that Jawia have already put into play cannot easily be removed right now. It's important that the president use people that he trusts because even them could be implicated. Nelson, let's let's take a look at this. Just okay, how about, about this? How about this? How about this? In the spirit of political neutrality or, or trying to balance the team, how about putting two physicians on the asset recovery team? 
No, but then now you want to make it about no, partisan. No, I don't no, think no, no. there should be the there should be no. 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 What's wrong with you? Let's do this. I, I believe when Joseph Baca was making the appointment, he did not look at the partisan aspect. He looked at their capability. What they have done before they are trying okay, so If capability, guy, no, no, Mary, Mary, if capability is something to take into consideration, mm, yeah, that's not, not, not partisan. So, which shall the people name from any different political party? If but that listen, gets now, listen, I could, uh, you know, the, 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 the guy from Center made a very good point say it should be people that have a track record. The LACC don't right, have a there track you go. record. They don't. They, they don't, don't have a track record. And now, I, I, I will mute everybody. Nelson, Mary, Mary has let's it. agree, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this situation. Within six months of Josh Weir presidency, he started building condominiums. When they knew he came to the election with not much, but just as a mayor from Gibraltar. No, the, the, the people say our president have millions of dollars. The people say our president have millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. We are sharing millions of dollars. That was that was probable cause. Well, all those condominiums, he do it two years because maybe they will say, okay, maybe it's the money he have accumulated within the two years. He do it in three years. He did it in six months. That was probable cause to get them to investigate Josh Weir. They did nothing about it. I'm telling you, if Joseph Baca was to do similar thing right now, I expect the oh LSC to investigate him right away. He but it, I, wouldn't I wouldn't want to use them. Thank you. Marie, Thank he, you. He, he, he gave money I out when he got not even sworn. It is a problem. Lila, you you're right. You're right. You you right. Can I, can I say something? A, a lot of people say, that. yeah, we will come to you. Can I make you. a point? Okay. We will come to you. A lot of people say our president had 83 million. That's not now. Yeah, we are shit banks. Yeah, we are shit. They were yeah, yeah. keeping it for him. <laughs> you know, anyway, let me let me forget the other aspect. That but, money, but, that money, um, that money. Um, Francis, uh, we, we have to make a transition on this one. Uh, I mean, I may have taken your second round. Um, uh, uh, Mary did that. Magnus have done so. So let's hear from you, uh, Francis, and um, our brother here. Then we'll make our quick transition. Well, <clears throat> first, first of all, um, yeah, the only thing I agree with our brother uh, Michael Wong is the double payment. You pay uh LCC then you pay another team but that's what we get when you have incompetent people uh, as sound position but what's the what's the role of the GSA anyway the G, the general uh service agency what, what what's what's that what's that uh, uh role in the government Mary Brown says she want that so she's not going after anybody but in the dead of order too huh so all this redundancy we have in the government. Smile, Omar. <laughs> so, so <laughs> we are smart, Omar, for sure. Because, you know, you got all these agencies that are pretty much doing the same thing. Little bit here, little bit there. Why can't you just consolidate a lot of the agency you put them together and form one agency? But it's just wasting money. And, 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 and imagine they, as general service, I mean, the civil service, over 60 million a month just to pay civil service. And they're not even getting paid on time. And all these redundancy we have. Consolidate these groups. Let some people go sit on that farm. Why didn't they retire? But consolidate this group. So, man, I don't know if I even want to keep dwelling on that stuff because Santa, they're not making any sense. President Parker need people he can trust. I'll go after people. And this has no good track record. And right in front of them. Samuel Twain, George Weaden, everybody they went after nobody. So why should we trust that they will do something? And now th there's a clean slate that Liberia need, and we're not going to play with it. President Thank Parker you. will do what he need to do to get us on the right. Thank path. you. Thank you. We we want to make our quick transition. Um, uh, 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 make your own. Just just take uh, uh, thirty seconds quickly. So we, we okay. Transition. Okay, my thirty second that would be this. I think there's some clauses in the law about people who had tenure position in Liberia. If they're not doing a job, the president got power to remove them through the court system, number one. Now, since we all know 
that LACC haven't been doing that job and we need people to do the job, the people are in there, we get rid of them through that law. You but but that? is it as easy it? as you're saying it? Is it is, is is it as easy as you're saying it? Let's, let's but my it. brother, my brother, take it this, take it from here. What yeah. that removes some people from tenure position, saying the same thing that I'm saying right now, and on a discussion right now, and ongoing, and some other people will not make it back. Some say they participate in campaign, some are not doing that job. They get and they are all on tenure. Think about that. We can apply the same rule to those guys that you we appointed you guys here on a tenure position, on a tenure basis, and you are not doing your job it's time okay. for this president to bring in people to do the job get rid of them thank you thank you mccown i now, think they uh, need to have that clause in there then they will start uh, to do their job well, uh, we want to we, we want to make a quick transition on this one and um uh we will go to the lines i see some folks are calling in already uh we will not take your calls now we want to go to the line uh we want to move to our uh, next talking point here quickly, and then once we come back, we will take your calls. We will certainly take your calls, and you will make your points. But this is where we are, guys. Um, elections are over. People supported. People supported the Unity Party government. President Barakai today. Uh, there are lots of people who have different views about the performance of President Buakai. Uh So many people today beat their chest that they brought the president to power. We made president we are. We are the ones. We canvas. We put our resources there. Now, a local media is reporting. Now, this is this is uh, a development that came up today. Several auxiliaries, auxiliary groups of the Unity Party during the heat of the October 10, 2023 elections express or expressing fear of abandonment by President Buakai. According to them, they have not been given attention. So uh, let me just go a little bit into this one. Um, so several auxiliary groups of uh, the unity party during the heat of the October 10 election, um, uh, presidential election, have expressed fear of abandonment uh, by President Joseph Buakai since the day of inauguration. The diverse political groupings claimed to have vigorously uh, supported Ambassador Buakai and former Senator Jeremiah Kuhn for Liberia presidency during the general and presidential run of elections in the country. The spokesman of the group, Abraham Fekad, said neither President Buakai nor the VP Kuhn have said or have paid the needed attention to the Zellers despite the demonstration of their commitment to the struggle, the demonstration of their commitment to the struggle, to the struggle. He emphasized that there is no time to remain tight-lipped in the process on ground, on grounds that time is running out. And amid the, the ongoing uh, appointments and nominations of individuals in government by the Liberian leader. Fakar found on what he termed as the deliberate decision of President We are not to appoint a single person from the auxiliaries who are qualified to provide able leadership for the nation. So his group is under the banner ELWA Rescue Mission. That's his group, ELWA Rescue Mission. So let's, let's, let's talk about this, guys. Let's talk about this. Why do people converse? Why do people sell political candidates during election? What exactly is the rationale? Is it based on the fact that the people, the support, the, 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 the commodity they bring to the, pe the people, the political commodity they bring to the market to sell, 
Is it on the basis of those commodities being good commodities, or is it because of the profit they're going to get as a result of selling the commodity? What exactly is that thing that serves as a driving force behind what happens during election? Now, this group, the group is saying that President Black had promised a government of inclusivity, but the government has turned out to a government of, of exclusivity because they've excluded a lot of them from uh, the entire process. Not a single person from his group. And what's the name of the group again? ELWA Rescue Mission. Not a single person from the ELWA Rescue Mission have been appointed by this government. He said phone calls, everything, nothing going through. Since the day of inauguration, they're trying to get to the president, the VP, nobody picking up their calls. Now, let, let, let's hear a take on this, guys. Uh, let, let, let's start with you, Emmy. Then we're going to take Marie. The females will go first on this, on, on this one. Thank you, Nelson. Well, all my years of not paying attention to Liberian politics, I think <laughs> I've been missing out on on the fun and you know the good goodness of it. Yeah, this is still you know, a serious thing. To pay this attention. is a serious thing. So I took, yeah, I took uh, 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 supporting a candidate for a change is. Um, supposed to be like patriotic, it's supposed to be uh, 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 things that people do for that country mm. because you want that change, you want uh, something better, not you know, something about you gaining, you know, gaining a uh, 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 profiting personally. It's it should have been that something like, oh, my country is in a is going down a drain and I want something new. Yes, if you get a job, nothing wrong with that. But if you don't, I think I thought it was something that oh, we prefer for the president to do well to bring jobs to bring bring people, you know, so they 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 they, they uh what do you call the thing? Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? So they 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 outside they they, the they can be company server. I will get yeah, the investors out. coming to yeah. the country and all yeah, of that. Thank this, you. Yeah. Investors coming. So, but, but, yeah. The, so, thing yeah. Is, the thing here is, the thing here is, so many of these people are saying, politicians. Yeah, reward, that's what I'm saying. The reward for supporting politicians is not in heaven. Now, on every you're supposed but, to get a reward. Yeah, no, no. Like, well, yeah, you're supposed to get a reward. But nothing. Everybody cannot get employment in the government. Okay. It's impossible. As much as we would want for people to get some of the people that we were even thinking about, like for me, Ambassador, what his name? Balu? What is that for his name? Balu. There you go. I wanted him to get something like maybe from the foreign the foreign minister or something like that, but he did it. And I love how he he's taking the whole thing, right? But everybody cannot work. And you can you can pray for the private sector to start to start to function for everybody to to to, to be able to go in there. And get something. Even the the, the 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 politician, like the last time I was reading a piece, some guy, he was complaining that um district, I don't know district number four, some like some district, forgive me if I forget it, the name in Nima County or the house someone was there, they, they they fought for the rescue mission to come to uh, power. They would then make the rescue mission to, 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 to win this election and, and out of that district, nobody had been, and I'm like. Are you serious? How many districts do you have in Nima County? If President Waka employ everybody in the district, what about the rest of the country? As much as we appreciate Nima County, if President Waka was to win Nima County alone, all of Nima County and no other county, he wouldn't have been president. This was a collective effort. Everybody keep giving themselves the glory, giving themselves the king's heart. Oh, I did this, I did that, I did it. This is for your country, people. It wasn't something that people did it for you to get personal. It should be something that systematic change. That's what I thought everybody was fighting for. But not, yeah, yeah. not knowing that everybody was uh, something Thank like you, personal gain, personal gain. I did not get anything. Or they haven't answered my phone call. Or this one is not going on. So I'm disenchanted. So I'm there. I mean, it's it's really, really just happening when I'm hearing this. And I'm like, so, and myself too, I'm saying here like, so this was not about you wanting a better country. It was just when you and your family. Get, so in the we are led government, 
If you had a job, if the the government was corrupt as whatever, as long as you had a job and you and your family were doing good, you would be good. That that's it. Thank you, Amy. It's that's, really that's, sad, that's, that's, and that's I think people Mary. really need to. You can express your your disappointment, but for you to be like, oh, because he did not give me job, because he's a no. What you should be fighting for is for him to do well, for the private sector to to, to start working, because we all cannot work in the government. Even in this visa, everybody, so everybody not working in the government, and we all can do do things Momo to, to change Sino, government. Momo Sino said, Emmy, politics is based on personal interest. But that's Emmy. a wrong, 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 Emmy. wrong, wrong something for you to get in our country. That's a wrong mentality for you to be carrying so around. You know, your personal interest Momo should be you, the system. Now, see what I mean, like. Your personal interest should be, Mohammed. It should be for you to have a person that will come in and bring security and bring rule of law and bring good schools for your children, for your brothers, for your sisters, to bring investors in the country that the private sector will be booming, that anybody can get up and go to work and live a better life. That should be your personal uh, 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 interest. Thank but you. not to go and work in government. Everybody, every librarian cannot work. So what about us on spoon here too? We should be fighting that. Oh my, me too. I did this. One. I did my money. Why can't they call me too? No, come on. We shouldn't be like that. Thank we should you. be picked. This is where our country is today because lack of love. It's all about me, myself, and I. And we need to get away from that. Marie Lazare. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. You know, I was listening to Francis earlier, and um, I listened to you brought the uh, briefly brought the topic up, and you know that's really what gave me the courage to come on tonight. It's sad. This situation boils down to exactly what uh, uh, Francis was saying um, for his opening statement. Um, the reason why librarians vote is the reason why the youth will not be involved into government and improve the country anytime soon. Because a librarian man will not vote because he believes in what he's voting for. Instead, he will vote for a short-term solution to his problem instead of a long-term solution. And it's sad because when JMB said, build Liberia, love Liberia, you would think people voted because they want Liberia to be built. You would think they voted because they, they, they love Liberia uh, uh, in order to see Liberia improve. So that's why they voted. If we have to talk here about people, auxiliary groups um, campaigning for JMB and they was out there, um, sadly, unfortunately, they didn't do it because they have the passion for They didn't do it because they have the passion for it. Okay. Um, you have people here. I think people that voted, you know how many people campaign? People at their homes campaign more than people that were on the street. This election, it wasn't just easy for people to convince people like that by going and knock on their door. It took communities coming together to understand that they want better for Liberia. It took people seeing on social media what the 21st century is capable of giving them and them wanting better for Liberia to say, you know what? I want Liberia to be like this too. So I'm voting for a better change. Everybody is not going to get a job. And even the people that get a job, is, I can bet you right now, Nelson, that man are talking, he said one person from his group not get a position. If they get somebody position, they ain't get him position, that problem. Then it means now one person again. Or if they give him position and not give other members of his group, it's still a problem. I hope and pray one day that the youth will be educated enough to try to involve themselves. This is why the politicians use them in the country in order to keep them poor. Because the mentality of solving a problem short term that's why many of the youth today cannot sit down in the country and predict where their life will be within the next five years or the next six years. Because if a politician were to come to them and say, for this election, this six-year turn, vote for me, there's a possibility you will get position 
So they have just predicted their life for only six years. But moving forward, they have no idea what's going to happen for them, what's going to happen to the generation behind them or their children to come. So our librarian people needs to be educated that when you say you are voting for someone, when you choose to support someone, do it because you believe in that individual that they can get the job done. Do it because you know that when that individual comes into place, your long-term goal will be solved. There's a possibility, okay? Once job comes into the country, now it wouldn't be only just you getting job in your, in your family. It will be multiple of your family members getting job. Do it because your children will have a future to look up to. They will see infrastructures that they, they won't worry about traveling all the time in order to succeed in life. So the, the, the mindset that what you have really need to be changed because without that, the people, the war law that care our people them, the one then that using us will continue to rule us. Because so Marie, Marie, Marie you, 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 you're pushing a good point, but hey, it's, it's, it's somehow difficult. Marie, the people say they want job. You say you want their mindset to change. How do we do this? Um, how do we reconcile the job and the change of mindset? How do we convince the hungry man that has absolutely no job to do and then dedicated all of his time on the, the, the ELW rescue mission uh, team to bring President Joseph Yuma back out to power, yet he doesn't have a job? How do we convince that man about changing mindset when he doesn't have a cup of rice on his table to even start his day? His family is looking at him. Now, see, he was hungry before JMB came in. Okay? So you need to understand that in order for him to get the job that he won, put JMB for to the fire to do the job that you put him there for so that you can get the job. Let and him the job is to get job. Job. Okay? Government the job. Government job is to get job. And, 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 and he says to appoint some of his guys to in, in, in the administration, in the government. Okay, but they're thinking about just them and not the entire country. There were more people that campaigned for this election at their individual houses in their vicinity more than they did that went around. If you want the country to be better, speak for job creation so that it will benefit everybody, not just an individual group to say, okay, my people, go putting government in place is not for governmental job. It's for private sector job infrastructure and, 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 and investments to come into the country. If you want to build Liberia, at least I would think that's what that's what they are aiming for. But you know, there are just people that are just self-centered and think that when they put, they, when they do something, they have to be paid in return for it. That is why we are not growing. Thank you. That's Thank you, Mary. Let's, let's hold you there and, and then bring in um, Magnus. Magnus, go ahead, sir. Nelson, thank you. Um, I mean, I kind of sad to agree. Did, did, did Marie drain all of the energy out of you? No. I'm just. Well, why, why are you lost after Marie made her point? Did, so, did she so Nelson, points so you? Nelson, so Nelson, thank you. I mean, I kind of probably agree with the people that said uh, politics is interest, but what is the interest? Because when the interest is about yourself. Uh, but what you can get directly from the person, then it means there's aberrations when it comes to the vision or when it comes to that interest, right? Like for, for, for me, right, I'll give a typical example. You know why I voted for Ellen Johnson in 2011? Because by the time Ellen Johnson was president in 2011, by 2005 when she was when she was elected first time, I was still young. 2011, and I time I was already in college. I look at my life after that six years. Look at the people around me. Look at how the how far the country have moved. Do I want to abrogate that process by bringing in George? We are no. So I supported Ellie. When I supported Ellie, I didn't support Ellie because I wanted a job or anything. But I know that when Ellie becomes when Ellie with me as president, my life will improve. What happened after the let after the after right after Ellie became after after Ellie became president, the next time I graduated from college, I got a job. I didn't get a job from government to say Ellen appointed me. So when people are saying politics is interest, 
let's look at the interest. What is your interest? Because that is the mindset of people, even when you're appointed, that is the mindset they carry the government. And that is why the corruption is too much in the country. Because if your interest is a supported man, so I got to get a job. So the job you get here, you're not getting a job based on competence. You're getting a job based on the fact that you supported him. When you go there, what is what is the interest of the people are, you are carrying? I think what that guy supposed to be the the yeah, the rescue guy supposed to be talking about now is how the hospital right near him that will be fully equipped so that his children can what they call how the the school at uh uh what what's what's the school over there name? um um the school right near them over there the Kennedy school will be well equipped so his children can have better education how you know electricity can get to that place so that just creation the thing about it, if we continue to rely on government for job and everybody should be employed by government my brother that's the reason why people in cdc today cdc have to go do uh how you call it uh 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 uh, uh, uh how you call it uh what, what they call that famous in the day uh uh did they do what they, I think budget cost or, or what? Uh, uh, harmonization. 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 <laughs> they did harmonization because you know what? They blotted the payroll because everybody, yeah. people are from, people are from, oh, uh, go back to market, sedition. They put their own payroll. When they say 15 gets sedition, they put their own payroll. Negro town for job that re election, they put their own payroll. So what happened is the payroll got blotted. So you know what they did? They went and started cutting the people who are earning on payroll, on government payroll, qualify. They started cutting their pay to get the people who could just sit down in the offices. Who could just sit down? Like you listen to more I did last time. 300 person. What I see what we can't even get water in more, but what I see get over 300 person, 93 security, 120 some more janitor. We have to be we have to be careful with how we 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 get involved with this politics. If you get involved with the politics to get job. Then I mean, you gotta you gotta sign contract and say I get involved with the politics to get job. But if you want, if so, if, so, if so, so where 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 you wanted to go sign the contract? When the, the campaign time, because if you go to but, the people, but, but, but say, Magnus, let, let's face the reality. Yes, Magnus, yes, you've yes, been yes. in Liberia. You've lived in Liberia. I live in Liberia. You know what the reality is in Liberia. I know. Why yes, do you think a lot of young people would rather? Uh, go to do the muya muya than trying to be, you know, um, that professional person, you know, and stuff like that. Why, why, why do you think a lot of young people in Liberia go to 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 uh, uh, to do the muya muya rather than you know just go into the professional stuff and and, and all of that? Nelson. It's because politics. Nelson, let me give you an answer. Let me give you an answer. Easiest way to get rich in Liberia. Nelson, let me give you my answer. The reason is simple because the opportunities are not provided for the young people, right? But then, why are the opportunities not provided for the young people? Because the young people have not come up, they are not stood up, right, to hold their leadership, their leaders' feet to the fire. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm saying is that guy who just spoke, right? He's speaking. That guy have a a a, a, a real tool in his hand. Mm. Right against the president. So if the president does not do what he campaigned to his people for, and tomorrow, whoever, even a Joseph Bagana campaign, you know the party will still be an institution. Go back to that man, tell the man, say, my man, campaign for the man, say, you know what I mean? I can't campaign for you. The last time I campaign for you, S Y Z S Y Z. But you want a job now, they get you the job. While you perform, you don't perform, they get you, they get you the job. And everybody else become government official. You go to the office. You're collecting small money, collect, collecting small money. Is that what, is that how you want the country to develop? So I mean, everybody will come. Everybody that comes or in Liberia should just become politician because because and 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 and, and, and Nelson, I, I reposted something during the campaign. People stop. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to deviate from the discussion. People stop. The current senator, uh, what's his name, McGill, to wipe his car. Nelson and shared tears when I saw that photo. You know what was it? Right after they sanctioned him, they stopped him to wipe a car. The, the car was rolling while the people were wiping the car tire. See how we treat these people in Liberia. These people, we impact. 
And, and before Nathan Maggie, nobody knew Nathan Maggie before he became he became minister of state. Okay. I mean, uh, because those are those are the kind of mentality that made us to that made us people to treat us the way they treat us. Those are the kind of mentality. Job, 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 job. Everybody Thank wants you. job. Thank you, Magnus. Let, let, let's hold you there and take uh Francis and uh and our brother uh Mikael one quickly, then we, we go to Can you guys hear me out of time. Yeah, go ahead, Francis. Yeah, man, I'm just I'm gonna be quick with, with this. Uh these people are shameless people. They, uh, they, they, um, they, they are here not straight. Let my woman say that they are, they are here not correct. You don't go camping for somebody to come and say, oh, I want a job. That's, this should even be embarrassed. You guys have said it all. For, for me personally, uh, the, uh, my stake in this whole election was George Weah was terrible for Liberia. We need change because what I want to do in Liberia and I'm doing right now in Liberia. And that was your interest. Francis, and you just yes. nailed it. That was your interest. Yes. No, their interest but, was they wanted to get a job. Nothing, this is, this is I said I want to be quick. No, 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 guys, guys, guys. You're trying to show things in that. It came. It, it, that's why I said they're here not straight. Because no, the, government, for view, the, the government, the government, the government, government job is just so much. Mm -hmm. How many, how many people, uh, 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 Joseph Bunga won by how many votes? A little over 25,000 votes. Yeah. No, I'm talking uh, about in total. I'm not talking about the difference. I'm oh. talking about in total. He won with over under 1 uh, million. No, about 800,000. 800,000, right? Okay. Can he hire all those 800,000 people that voted for him? No. But he's well, included in half of the 800,000 campaign and brought 400,000 to vote. Those 400,000 people that campaign, can he hire all of them in his government? You see, that's what so I want. I want our, our people. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it just frustrates me sometimes. You come outside of the country, people they are, they are lobbyists or people are sit lobbyists pay a lot of money and say, you know what? I'm gonna support this present campaign because when he come in, you know what? He probably made a put the free port do the free. So my business, I want to bring the Liberia. I want to bring all my containers. It will not cost me a lot of money. So I'm that's a that's what people talk about. That's interest, Francis. But yes, but 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 that, but that's but yeah, we're not that's how press people country, look yeah. at things. You vote for this president because he will make things better. If you talk about interest, it will make things better for you to do what you need to do. In okay, the first, 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 let, let, let me come in. Let me come let me come in. Let me come in. Let me come in. Let me come in. Princess, yeah, then he said he was already going in. Princess, you want to talk some other thing? I resign. You want me here for? I got to talk with. Yeah, guys, this is the thing, Francis. You said you just said that. At least, if the issue is, I will support the man because the man will make the the port duty free, and when I bring my containers. Uh, you know, I can get access to the port, you know, or he will create more job, or he will make the economy better. It should be about those issues, not about somebody getting job. But again, then we we'll go back to the issue of interest. No, but, but Nelson, that's different. Getting because... a better economy, that's your interest. That's Nelson, why you need Nelson, a minute. Nelson. Getting, getting, uh, Okay, cool. Let me wrap up and you finish your commentary and you go to the report because that thing has not about what you're talking about. Because the thing is, you here is, you is, is my interest is my, is my interest is for President Obama to come to office and create yeah. a, 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 an economy where mm. in the private sector will thrive. Mm. When I bring a company into Liberia, I will hire more people and will help the country. Not mm -hmm. John Bryan, Mary Paul want to do Muya Muya so President Bryan can hire them, then they enrich themselves. That's completely different. It's not That's a personal interest, Nelson. It's interest for everybody. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Nelson. You. you know, this interesting is like we're going to take a whole show. Nelson, to Nelson when they make it, when they made a whole pot, did they free down? Can I just want to enjoy it? Everybody. Let's hear from. Mikael, I, I see your hand. Marie you see and... our hand. Quick, quick. Two, five, yeah, seven. Uh, well. <clears throat> okay, take, 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 take uh, uh, 20 seconds quickly. Then we'll Francis, you. don't let Nelson sway your point. Francis did not mention port business. You know your business is a port. Francis said, I supported JMB because 
let me tell you, JMB agenda was build Liberia, right? Francis just want Liberia to be built. And then he can go back home and, and do businesses. So that's, that's his not his, just his interest that, you know, people need to understand if the pressing agenda he don't want to go for them, Thank don't you. vote for them. JMB yeah. said build Liberia and love Liberia. And then he talked about tourism, sanitation, and job creation. So if they were just voting for him based on that, let them wait for him to create the job. And he never said, I will get your uh, 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 governmental jobs. OK. Mikael, go ahead. <clears throat> well, thank you, Nessie. Thank you. Well, the thing is, I think everybody has said all. But the, 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 point, the, the main focus remains the same. Liberia had about 5.5 million people. And before you become president of Liberia, you need you need at least 50% of those people plus want to vote for you to become president of Liberia or more. Now, it's the fact that the government cannot employ everybody to work in the country. I personally supported George Weah. My family supported the reason that George Weah, but uh, Black High, and we all live all part of the world. The thing we need to be advocating for as Liberian. I know every a lot of people suffer in Liberia. They need jobs to live. They need this to live. But the government can only employ 5,000 Liberians. You know, statistically, I might, I might be wrong the number, but it can't be more than that. You understand? Or it can be just no, just no more than that. A little above but, that. A little above yes, that. yes. So if we look at that statistics alone, the thing we need to be advocating for is number one, security of this country don't be selfish that make sure that the president established or that the government establish a safe zone for the country of liberia so other people around the world can be motivated to come into that country and invest into that country let's start hearing about people dying in the street there no investigation this person was killed last night in the government there no investigation this person something happened to them they were beating the street and nothing no outcome nothing thank you guys and that alone would not encourage anybody to invest their million dollars or billion dollars into that country so all those people that are voting or for people or campaigning for people to get jobs to be able to get jobs so the thing we need to be looking at is the future of our country the features of our children why are we voting for this person what is the person agenda for the, for, the, for the broader picture so let's start the the the, the narrow you know selfish rule of thinking about if i vote for the guy i know that's liberia mentality don't get me wrong but at, at some point we need to get rid of it now not grow let's, let's keep growing you will never change is, is is something that we all need to work on all the time since our you know, thought and uh, 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 I call it or uh, expectation always been if I vote for this person, I gotta get position, and this is not helping the country. Let's get rid of it. Let's start voting for people now, you know, to come to place how they can create good schooling for our country, you know, security, justice system, you know, all those things. Let's start looking Thank at you, and start voting job. for people now. Thank so, you. That's you know, idea. yeah, um. <clears throat> Yeah, so um, we have to go to the lines. Emmy, you want to make a quick 20 seconds, and then we take Cindy. C Cindy, you came yeah. late. No, but I've been following the discussion. Yeah, he want to chip in. Don't let him raise new song. Don't let him raise a new song. <laughs> but we sing the same song. We sing the same song. <laughs> OK. But listen, Nelson, you keep trying to choke somebody, telling them this is their interest, this is their interest. No, I, 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 I can tell you. interest we're talking you. about. First of all, uh, um, Francis said I hear not correct. I will not say that. That hairs are correct. Okay, maybe they are hungry. I get that point. I, I understand that point. But this is why we are here to educate them. You, when you voting for a president, some, I mean, when you supporting somebody, it shouldn't be about your personal interest. Look at the country. This is where we at but, right but now. Emmy, this Emmy, is Emmy, why Emmy, we, we Emmy, have Emmy, so many let people. Let me interrupt here. you a bit, Emmy. Have we? Have we ever been a bit concerned about what the politicians say to these people doing campaign as well? The promises yeah. they make to them, they are involved so, in engagements with them versus when they win the election, how to treat those people. I, I mean, forget about the job thing and, and all of that. 
Yeah, uh, um, nothing. I get it. You know, you make a good point, right? When these people are candidates, right? They are accessible to everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Once you win a legend, you, 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 GMB is the president right now. I dare you and myself to go trying to, you saw what that guy did the other, the other day, trying to something. It's hard to get to those people. Even if they don't want to do it, now they have people that are controlling their, their data, uh, uh, attendant word and everything. You're not getting them when you call them. It doesn't mean they're doing it themselves most of the time. They are the president now. There's no way you would be able to to, 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 to get access to GMB the way you had it when GMB was going or in a, in a something. It, it just doesn't work that way. Even here with Biden, it just doesn't work that way. It, 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 that's it. And I don't remember where GMB said that. Oh, when I went, everybody would work in the government. He never said that. He said he would try to bring, they would bring people in, uh, investors in the country that the young people will, will, will work. They will, they, will, they will open the, 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 the agriculture sector, all those. That's what yeah, it's saying. And when we talk about interest, it should be interest that will benefit. It should be a, a systematic interest that people should be in, interested in, like, yeah. you know, because, because that we he, already he, said here, most yeah. of it. It shouldn't be something that oh, that personally benefits me. And that's, yeah. that's what I was and, doing. And, it and, and here's the thing, that's I mean, talking about. if you did not promise John Brown, that you again job. John Brown doesn't feel entitled to any job from you when you win. All right? If 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 you are upfront with John Brown, and I know the politicians will say, Oh, that's not how uh the politics works and all of that. But if you are upfront with John Brown, tell him what the reality is. If you win, John Brown's expectation is in a position where you know it ba is balanced. But Nothing. if you make excess promises to John Nothing. Brown, then there's all the promises that JMB made. Have you ever no, heard no, no, you I, telling I, I, people I, I, that I, I, everybody not, would work I'm in the government? No, no, no. I, I'm not I'm not saying this specifically about JMB or to JMB or but 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 I'm 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 doing it from a general perspective, politicians in general. The way they engage with the people during campaign, the things they say to them versus what happens after election. And then when the citizens start to come up in this form and manner, then there's an imbalance. But anyway, thank you, thank you for your 20 points. Uh, thank you. Well, for no, you talk about 20 points. You talk all of it. Uh, so don't, 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 don't. Take, Sandy, 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 Sandy will take you 20 You took all my points. Were you interrupting me? I mean, we'll still come back. You'll do your closing. But, I mean, uh, uh, Sandy, just do your... Well, uh, uh, good your evening. Mind. I apologize for being late. I had a dinner day with my boss. So, while I was eating and enjoying my food, I was listening to you. <laughs> the boss is... Is is your boss? A female or a male? It's actually a female. They not, don't think they see that, that your life brought in there. Is it a he or she? It's a, it's a female. Sometimes you take job outside the office. And, you I'm know, just kidding. Don't, I don't. don't know that. Is, it, is, that is your boss a pronoun or a noun? We can go back. <laughs> 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 but look, uh, this issue, this topic on a discussion, right? I see a lot of you beating on the, the, the brother who is coming out frustrated because he's not getting job. I get your point. No right? member for a group. No member for the mayor group. In fact, my own group in my village too, no member yet. You know, the great free <laughs> rescue mission. No member yet. Me too. You know, yeah, the martial rescue mission, no member yet. But you cannot blame those rescue missions that are expecting appointment. My brother Magnus here, for instance, you put rice, and GB in front of Magno, Magno would rather choose GB. He's from Nima. That's what has been introduced to Magnus. I'm from Grand G there. Cassava leaf, palm butter. I will choose that any day. That's what has been introduced to me. Let's come back to the topic. What has been introduced to our young people in the country? Political elevation, political jobs. 
Do we have private sectors in the country? No. Who to be blamed for the lack of private job in our country? The same government officials, our same government, right? Who will not make Liberia or private sector friendly? Who, when private investors come to country that want to invest, they will rather seek their own interests, our politicians, than the interests of the Liberian people. If Amy, for instance, want to invest in Liberia and go to the Ministry of Commerce, someone there will tell Amy, give me 30,000. Or whatever you're about to do, give me 10% of it. That, that person is going to pocket that money and nothing will benefit the Liberian people. Or Amy will be discouraged instead of investing in Liberia, will turn her back and go to a country that will receive her without corruption. You cannot entirely blame the youth for seeking government jobs because that's the only thing available to them. So often you find a lot of our young people, men and women, seeking political praises, joining political campaigns because they are expecting something in return. Some of them may have Liberia at heart. They want a better Liberia. But I will tell you that most of them will want something in return. Either they themselves to get employed or some of their family member that is pushing them and say, carry Mr. Bwakai, because I believe that if Bwakai win, I will get employed. There is often something there for them. We cannot blame them. Let us our government to introduce something new to them. Instead of Magnus just eating GB, let introduce something else to Magnus. Let introduce the private sector. Let the government make it friendly for people to come to country and invest. That way, most of our brothers and sisters' attention will not be on political jobs. Look, I've been saying on this show, government should not be the primary employer in any given country. Unfortunately, Liberia right now, government is the primary employer. That is very sad. Let the taxes at the free port that are unbearable when we send container over there, let them be reduced. So that Ami can be encouraged to send her business into Liberia. So Ami alone could employ five, six, ten people. I could employ ten people. Liberians and no Liberian outside of our country want to invest in our country. But the the, 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 uh, 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 the business environment in Liberia, it is not friendly. And it's not friendly for people like you and myself who don't have enough money to corrupt the system. Do you know who is friendly for? The Lebanese, the Peronier, the foreigners who are willing to lose 10,000, 20,000, give it to government officials so they can continue their business. Where do I have that money to bribe a government official? Where does Magnus getting the money from? Where is Francis getting that money from? So if that place is not conducive for some of us that want to do business to carry our business there, our people will continue to be dependent on government position. Don't blame that brother. Blame the government that is not making private sector viable for the Liberian people. I will end on this. Some of us came here not because we want job. We came here because we want a better Liberia. Don't you compare yourself with that brother, however. Some of us came here, most of you here have jobs, professional jobs, living in the West. You don't need government jobs to survive. No government job can pay me what I'm making now, so I don't need it to survive. But is that bread in Liberia today? Ask yourself, does he even have a job? Can he afford a, Can he afford his daily living? Can he take care of his family? Don't entirely blame him. Blame the system that has introduced to that brother.
The only thing he knows is government job. I thank you. Yeah, I saw people saying amen to you. I don't know as to whether you appreciate it. <laughs> That's a good one. So, Sandy, we are all saying the same thing. We're not blaming the same way. We are I telling mean, them about introducing, introducing the new system, which you should want the government to produce job instead of it just being government job. We are not saying that, oh, it's not what they are yeah, using. So the point should be, we want job. Now, like, we not get appointment for Joseph Baga yet. Yeah, we are not saying they should not, you know, they're not supposed right, to get let's, that. Let's go to the phone lines. Right. Uh, but, I, but, but I just I, want to say something. I, I want to ask Cindy a question. Cindy, yeah, you. How do we get, get because my want, point earlier was that uh, 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 the citizens and the youth should have more reasons to elect those government officials than self gain. Because that is the only thing the government official introducing to them. Because the government official want to continue to be corrupt. How can you tell me that, you know, how can you say, uh, give the government official the mandate to do the change when they, they, they know they want to be corrupt? Shouldn't you be talking to the youth themselves to elect people that are not going to be corrupt? Since I'm the part of, since I'm, I'm the guest now, let me ask you. Sending you a response to the question will come back. Oh, we'll come, oh, oh, I'm not a guest again. No, you're not a guest. <laughs> you already came late. You I already got late. You got guest. <laughs> I know you didn't even get up on them, but we're blaming the brother. <laughs> we're blaming him. Uh, him being let's let's, him. let's take some calls. Uh, call us up now. Zero triple five one zero one zero seven five, or the WhatsApp number on the screen is the late night show. Wow. Let's take our first call. Hello. Hello, Nelson. Uh, I want to say good morning to people back following for Liberia and to all of the panelists. Good evening. Yes, this is Bila Zuari and I joined from Philadelphia. You know, I'm a little bit struggle tonight to get some of the analysis, especially from your previous panelists as related to the job issue and how people sometimes come out to say, Mr. Boaga should get a job. I want us to, thank you, Cindy. I want us to balance the acumen a little bit. Do not restrict analysis just to yourself or how you see things. Our society in Liberia has been based on a tradition. What are some of these traditions? Politician comes to people, group me and say, support me. I'm going to give you the, were you there from the beginning? Ask that question. Were you there from the beginning? What was some of those basic negotiation? Political party, people from various angles were supporting Mr. Boaka. Not basically they were looking at just the country in general. Farah, you and myself will support Mr. Baka because we want the bigger goal to be achieved. But again, let's look at the society. The society is manipulated politically. The society has started politically. What are some of the alternative environment that they can find themselves in? These are basic questions. Sandy, I appreciate you coming out to tell the government, yes, let's provide this for our young people for them to not be involved to just government job, government job. Thank you. You're in America now, you're not thinking about government job because there are jobs plenty. Opportunity job plenty, but if no job to do, what will you do? So let's look at the initial stage or the fundamental cause of some of these problems. What are politicians telling our people before they get into power? Were you there before the beginning? What was, what was some of the negotiation before you see EAW group coming to support Mr. Baga today? We supported Mr. Baga because we believe in Liberia script. No different interest. And if anybody will tell you, say, Liberia politics is not going by interest holistically, you might be doing it because when you read political science, it defines the interest impact safest way, individual interest. I mean, there are very interest political science will tell you about. So let's go back to some of these things and understand that politics is not all around how we see it. It is wild, yeah. it is a wild something. And I think yeah. we should uh, diverse our, our, our analysis sometimes, or suggest what we sometimes get it for ourselves okay, in Western thank you, world. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, wow. Well. Zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Um, that's the number to call. You'll be live. Let's see if we go back to this call. Hello, <clears throat> hello. Okay, so um, we're gonna end up on the course. We um, we have to wrap up. We have limited time. I'm sorry, I can't take all the calls now. We have very limited time. So uh, we can just come back to conclude. Um, and let's start with you. Let's start with you, uh, Nikhil Wong. 
Um, let me just squeeze his final call, please. Hello, quickly. Good morning, uh, bless you. Yes, good please morning go ahead. to the panelist. Yeah, go ahead. My name is Jeremiah, uh, following you from Broadway. Go ahead, quickly. You know, uh, Spoon FM should be the channel of consolation to those who are aggrieved today. But uh, what I've been hearing tonight from your panelists, I'm not hearing anything that will cancel the heart of people who are agree. They should console you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, because people today may not uh, be happy, you know, with the way the government is proceeding. So I think Spook FM should be the way to you know, talk to them, you know, appeal to them, mm -hmm. and just give the hope that there will be a better Liberia for all of them. But telling them they don't have sense, they don't have idea, they don't know what they want, I don't think that is good to hear. Thank you, sir. Okay. Why aren't you happy? Um, thank you. Let me say, who said librarians don't have sense? Who said that? Uh, um, no, President he, that he not straight. The people that that that, that uh, talking about oh, we vote for him get our job. Yeah, but but the the man said that series you spoke, he didn't understand it, so he was waiting for his regular call. But 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 just 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 to your closing, <laughs> and then well, we we'll go to Cindy <clears throat> and then Francis. Well. Thank you, Nathan. It's been a good show, and we come here to country, and that's what we have to do to help each other to save Liberia. Because my goal here is for Liberia to be a country that we all can go there happily, see our people happy, everybody working and enjoying themselves, and the country going smoothly. But to this point, some of the Nazi, the people, you know, that one job, the campaign for. Joseph Braga, Joseph Braga won the election, the one day is bad. We're not saying that. We say look at the broad picture of it. Look at the bigger picture. Think about the features of Liberia, not just, you know, individual. Because just because we all went out there to support uh, Joseph Braga to unseat Joshua, that doesn't mean, that doesn't necessarily mean we all need, or we all supposed to get a job in the government. Now, we can, like my sister said earlier, we can start advocating for the government to provide jobs for us by allowing people, building security systems in Liberia, you know, that good enough for people to trust and bring their companies and making the, the free pool reasonable enough for business people to invest their money, for people not to take money from there through corruptions and to free one container, you gotta spend over $6,000 to get one container out of the port. So how much less than I didn't deserve and blow somebody else? So these are the things we're talking about. We're not beating on them because the voters they can't get that. Well, if you qualify, you know, Joe Burger get position to give you nothing wrong with that. But let's look at it on a you know different perspective. Now, when it comes to the the uh, the the corruption issues, I forget the name now, but the LECC should be the one to carry That's on the same time. Same time. Since that LACC should be the one to carry on this job. That's what the Liberian people pay them for with a the high end money. If we need to remove or revex the LACC, let's go ahead and do that. There's a clause, like I said today, there's a clause in that law that say if we appoint you in the tenure position and you're not doing your job, we can remove you and put people that will do the job there. We all know that LACC having given no reserve of any of the job they ever did in our country. The only person they ever brought to life that we saw that I didn't go nowhere that was, I think Lauren or Larry Bublé. And that man went to jail in Liberia, that was it. Then... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, you are muted, I don't know how. Hello? Okay, so skip the man. Sandy, Sandy, let, let's hear, let's hear Sandy. 
All right, Nelson, uh, quickly, look, on the same issue that I met on, the, on a discussion, private sector is the way forward. We have to create jobs in the private sector. And we also have to mandate, we have to mandate people that are coming to Liberia to do businesses to employ Liberians. There are several companies in Liberia, Nelson, we know of them, that come with their own employees and your Liberians are being left out. I went to Rwanda, went to a place called Kisimenti. There's a Nigerian restaurant where I swallow Nigerian GB. Guess who served me that Nigerian GB? Rwandese. I'm sorry. I went to a city in Rwanda, I mean in Rwanda called Kinsei, at the border of Rwanda and DRC. We have two Liberian brothers there that run restaurants. Guess who are employed there cooking your Liberian food at that Liberian restaurant? Rwandese. In their country, they mandate that when you are a foreigner take business there, 80% must be their citizen. We need to ensure that our Liberians are getting jobs. An Indian man should not bring business to Liberia and employ Indians. Let there be Liberians to help run that business. Thank you. A Lebanon man should not bring business to Liberia and employ Lebanon people. Let Liberians should be able to work in that business and be paid decent wages. Thank you. Thank you. If our government fail to do this, we will be here to hold their feet to fire. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Francis, go ahead, sir. Yeah, just to address a few things, especially what our brother, Bella, sorry, said the first caller. Um, we, we, not, we should give our people a lot of credit. Our, library, our fellow librarian, brothers and sisters, are intelligent enough to know that you don't campaign for somebody and because you want job saying that oh you don't know what they promise those people what first of all if you go into a campaign to, to that's pretty much you selling your vote because if you believe in the person you vote for them and you can't be for them because you think it'll make the country better how about okay the arrest program is roads okay when president Barker built the road we have interstate commerce I can take my goods from, from Maryland and sell it in Sando. I can drive to uh, Grand Virginia and drive to River G and do my business. I don't need government job. My business will flourish because this president ran on a platform that said he would develop uh, the roads. He would develop agri bring about agricultural uh, development and things like that. That's what we should be uh, uh, focusing on. But we can't be making these excuses for these people that just, every, from time immemorial, Liberia, that's why today foreigners have more businesses in our country. Uh, back then, everybody wanted to go to school, get, go to uh, college, and go work for government. That's all we've been doing in Liberia, and that's the same mindset today. Even though I know a lot of us now, have our eyes have been open because we're further to travel and now want to do business in our country, but it's the same thing still going on in Liberia. Everybody went for election time. Let me the basic way I was in, then I go get a job. That is not uh, the right way to put it. We need to uh, uh, change uh, the mindset of our folks and tell them that government is not the only way. Vote for a government to open up the private sector so everybody can benefit. Thank you. Magnus? Yeah, Nelson. I think the the whole issue about who get job, who did not promise job and stuff, I don't think President Buaka went to yeah they rescue and told them you vote for me and I will implore, I will implore one of you to be minister or deputy minister or assistant minister. But like what we what we should be advocating for here is the provision of job, not employment for a specific person in government. When you come out and say the government campaign on the provision of job and the government has not provided job, we always join you to campaign or to push the government to provide jobs. And the whole issue about foreigners taking over our economy is stemmed from our own political system. 
we come here to go campaign, people collect money, people do this one, and they put money in our pocket, get all rest. At the end of the day, that ball went credit to be representative. As soon as he becomes representative, the first business that comes before him is to order a Lebanese man's or a, 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 a money concession. And then they get that ball brown envelope to pass that concession. You think you're going to refuse it? No. Because the men know as soon as he hit the district. Now, see, the thing, the thing is, 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 is so much like better. So now, even when you work in your own community, when you're walking down the road, everybody asking, see, man. I was I was starting our dinner. See what I mean? That was start our dinner. That was start our dinner. So imagine if a common man are just doing private sector job is behaved to like that. Look, think about the representative. Some of the representative, you go to their houses in the morning, they learn Saturday. They learn. So nothing. How do we? I mean, it's 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 it's, it's, it's an endemic issue that we need to look at holistically because. One, one side will say, one side of the argument will say, if we, if if, if the representatives are not are not being corrupt, the people will have all the services and they will not have to go stand in front of their doors. Then the other side of the argument will say, if you get all the chance and you just elect us without collecting money for us, without doing anything, and without backing us, when we go there, we might be able to do what we're supposed to do to be able to, to pass the good law or to do the, the necessary oversight. So Nelson, that place is 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 what you call quickly on the issue of center. Center come here and making be more center for the past six years. We have government center for only three corruption report 2021, 2022, and 2023. The, the whole six years we have government center only spoke against the president policy only two times. Just in the last month, center has pulled out almost four press conferences, press release. I mean, if I mean, people should not go and sit somewhere and have their interest and then shoot it behind, behind a uh, 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 high. Thank you, sir. Thank you, um, Marie, and then Amy will take us home. Thank you, Nelson. You know, um, I'm sorry to the individual that called and say he didn't really understand what the panelists are saying because pretty much we have all been saying the same thing tonight. Cindy came and said, you don't know what the people were promised. Maybe Cindy wasn't here when Nelson read the statement. The guy specifically said in the statement, JMB said he will, he will have a government of inclusion. So that automatically means that he's entitled to a job because JMB said um, he will have a government of inclusion. We're all saying the same thing here. Honestly, for me, if I did not believe in the arrest agenda that JMB brought, I wouldn't have supported him. I'm telling the youth of Liberia today, do not support somebody because they come and promise you a job. Support them because you believe that they can get the job done for the, for the entire country, that you believe in their agenda. That is why a lot of the government officials are not even putting effort into laying out an agenda when they are running for positions because they feel like all they need to do is promise your job, then you will support them. It shouldn't be that way. We're saying that vote for that person because the person can get the job done, not only because you want job from them, because that's the only way Liberia can get better. And if Cindy is saying that, oh, we shouldn't blame the youth, we should blame the government official, but you are saying these same government officials are the ones taking the 10,000 from the Lebanese people. So how do we stop them? They have so much power. You think the government official will relinquish their, their, their aim to, to be rich more and choose not to take the money because they want to make librarians better? No. It's the youth that have need to come together and see if this person is not presenting our agenda that they're going to do something for or why will I put this person there and gain the knowledge to not just be putting anybody there? Because when you put people there now, they are not doing what you expect of them, then it becomes a problem. Librarians need to find another way to, to support somebody. It shouldn't be just about money and jobs for, for they and, and, and their people around them. It should Thank be you, something that would benefit the entire country. Thank you. Amy? 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you, Marie. You said was, was some of what I wanted to say. Um, yeah. So I read no one is saying that <laughs> everybody keeps saying, Oh, you don't know what the people are going through, you don't know <laughs> who told y'all that we don't know, and no one is comparing them with the life we're living here. If we were doing that, we wouldn't come here every time telling them that they can have better, that they can do better. So for us to say that um voting for somebody shouldn't mean that they're giving you jobs, it's mean that we're comparing to comparing them with how we live in here, that then that's very, very uh, uh, sad for you to think that way. Um, but what that Marie said, we are all saying the same thing. We should be voting because we want better education, because we want better health care, because we want security, because we want rule of law, because we want uh, uh, jobs to come in the country. Not necessarily government job, because for goodness sake, not everybody will get a job in the government. Everybody that supported that person to win an election. So what we, if we understanding this brother now, you know, because this is how it is in Liberia, what are we telling them? How are we going to move their mind from that to say this is not the way it should be? Even though this is what you've been taught, this is what you have been uh, 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 used to. This is what we're telling them. No, if you keep, and people come here, politics and interest politics, yes, it should be an interest that, that, that benefits all, not just personal interest. You get a job now. After it says, yeah, then they keep you out. They keep the government out and bring somebody else in. There's the next people that support that I want. Is that what you, that's your life? That's the interest that you want for Liberia and for your family? I don't think so. I think you want a long uh, uh, um, uh, 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 interest. You want a, a, a something that would benefit you for the long run and your children, your children's children. It shouldn't be you having a job now. And it's any kind of job look on there tomorrow. And that one of people saying it should be okay because you had a job because you supported the next government. That's government. That is not the way to go. And nobody's being insensitive here, but we telling you that. No, we're trying to educate you. We're trying to prepare your mind to, 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 to look for the whole your 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 leaders accountable for things that will, 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 will last you longer, not just for short term. That's what we're trying to tell you. And we cannot keep saying that, oh, this is how it is. This is how it's supposed to be. No, we need to change that mindset. That's what we're saying. And if we go in, like Magna said, if we go into this representative or whatever, whatever, and we asking them for this because I supported you. Give me this, give me that, give me this. And then when the person taking that money back in a, in a chamber, sitting and doing things, say, oh, this person corrupt, this person something. But you're also encouraging that corruption, you know, that corruption. You're encouraging it because the person felt like, oh, they owe it. They give you something and they got to get it back. That's their yeah. mindset. That's what they think about. Oh, when you, when you even question them, I'm, this is not a thinking to say, I'm thinking you question it. This is what they tell you. Oh, we can't bring our salary down because people ask us. So. We help the people with, with school fee. We help people with this. People come to our house on the full seven. That's what they say, people. So we need to change our mindset. And when we're telling you these things, we're not telling you because we want to be mean or we don't understand. No. It seems maybe tough right now, but you can hold your government feet to the fire to do it better, that you will get it in a better way than somebody milking you or taking advantage of you to, 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 to take something that is bigger from you without you even knowing you think they're doing you a favor. No, they're not doing you a favor. And for that brother that calls say he's down, my brother... Not everybody who work in the government, like I keep saying, yeah, I know you are expecting something. You may have been expecting something and you did not get it. It doesn't mean it is the end of the world or to say, oh, the government will not do anything. Just give it a time and see what you should not be advocating for is what we are telling you here now, that they will bring these people, a, 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 a private sector will be booming, that you will be able to get something from there since you can't get it in the government. Because the same mindset you got, though one million people or who 800,000 people have their same mindsets because Thank everyone you. are in the same space. So imagine Thank that. You. So please don't be down. We're not trying to be mean yet. We're not We're not trying to take your, your I know you stress or you down and we're trying to be mean to you and we're trying to uh, something. No, that's not what we're doing. Please don't feel that way. You know, and I hope you understand what we're doing. You've been taking one, uh, uh, two hours to deal with a man. You take fast, motivate him. 
They damage that. That's two why you put his name out, Gary. Two hours. They damage that two hours. Wow, are you putting the same, Gary? Nancy, this is a close investigation. Nancy, 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 that was a close. Yeah, yeah, keep it close. Let go. I want to say. Don't open it again. Thank you to everyone. Well, as the guest, why are you putting the same, Gary? Nancy, thank you. Yes, the girl Marie called my name. No. no, no. <laughs> oh, I need them all. That's strategy. That's strategy to make a comeback with that. I just brought up. Oh, I need them all. Went off, so I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, certainly. But I want to say thanks to everyone for being here tonight. And oh, I need them all, Zeni. Oh, I need plenty of so, time. They will come back. Have a good night, guys. I am <laughs> very exhausted. I can see good it. Night, Nancy. Nancy. Uh, good night, y'all. Good night, Thank guys. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Good night, Nelson. Good night, Nelson. Good night, Nelson. Good night, Thank you. Bye, y'all. Thank you, so, Sandy, Sandy was the last man to come in. He won for the us to leave. He won for us to leave until, you know, that thing, it can't happen. <laughs> it's the Marie's company. <laughs> it's the Marie's company. <laughs> Yes, I, yes, I, a special one from the CEO, Stan coming with the spoon. <laughs>